Welcome to the Jim and Sam Show, Wednesday edition. This is Jim Dora Sam Roberts here live from New York, top of the hour. <laughs> it's the beginning of the show. Yep. <laughs> top of the hour. Top of the hour. It is. Top of the hour, Jim and Sam the hour. We go yeah. to Jim and Norton and Sam Roberts morning show. Yeah. We have, uh, we have uh, SNL alumni, Colin Quinn, coming in at the top of the next hour. It's a sunny day uh, outside. Should be a nice one out there. Yeah, it's supposed everybody. to be a good one. Uh, nice temperatures, moderate uh, breeze. Typical for May weather in New York City, but hey, what is typical in New York City? What's going on, Jim? Uh, not a whole lot. <laughs> I want to do this all day. <laughs> oh, me too. I'll never get tired of it. No, isn't it just I'm talking like you're on the radio? Yeah. Can you believe that? And that would that would that would always trip me out. Like people who talk like they're on the radio. Like when I would uh, come in here and do like weekend shows. Like when I was just you know paying my dues. Yeah. Uh, they would have all like the sports board ops. Like that's the only people that would be here on the weekends is sports board ops, and they would like literally just be in positions to f- pipe in national feeds. Onto different channels, like they weren't actually doing sports play by play here. Obviously, they would, but there would be people here that were piping those right. feeds into channels. But all those guys, you know, had dreams of being sports broadcasters, which yeah. is not shocking. But they would all talk like sports radio DJs in conversation. Like you'd go to the bathroom, and they'd like from urinal to urinal, be going like, "I don't know about these Giants. The coaching staff has a lot of work to do this season," uh. and you're like. Who are you talking to, dude? Yep. That's not the way people communicate. No, and the worst, too, is when you're on the road, you're doing an interview, and you're in the station or the studio before the show starts. You're talking to the guy. Yeah, you know, yeah. we'll talk for a little bit. It's going to be great. I'm happy you're here. And uh, what time is your show? <laughs> Show's at nine? Okay. Yeah, he hits a button. Yeah, I'm here, Jim Norton. <laughs> like, who are you? Like, what happened? Where's the guy I was just talking to? I was I just like talking him. to a different person. Yeah, you're a different person. Jim, tell us. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what are you laughing at, man? I hate the laughs at a non-funny... I don't need the laugh at a non... Just funny joke or a little aside. The energy laugh. Yeah, the energy laugh. I don't need it. Yeah, just to keep... <laughs> just to keep the... Yeah, the keep the energy going. laugh. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> I don't need it. Like, I'll, I'll, they'll ask you a question. Hey, what's your fondest memories of Sacramento? <laughs> I don't have any. <laughs> I know what no one does. You know. Oh, <laughs> you doing? I just, I've never been here before, man. What are you doing? I just want to talk. Yeah. I just want to have a conversation. And granted, the phone is not my strong point. It's never been my strong point. Oh, are you point. talking about doing phoners? Yeah, I hate them. Not good? No. It's I a mean, rare It's a rare skill. It's a rare skill. Jay Moore was great on the phone. Jay Moore's great on the phone. Dice is the best. I don't think anyone's ever been better at phoners than Dice. Well, Dice is remarkable because he's able to control the room over the phone. Yeah. What's your name, honey? You know. <laughs> I've seen him do it, it's, and he's done it on shows when he's called an O&A, and insane that he has the ability to do what he does on the phone. That's really hard to do. But Jay is also great at I'm trying to think of other Bill guys. Burr. Bill yeah, Burr Bill's is great on the phone. Incredible on the phone. Bill's great on the phone. Yeah. It's very difficult to uh very difficult to do. Yeah. I just don't enjoy it. Well yeah, trying to read the room and figure out where to like plug a little joke in or something like that. You don't Yeah. You're just kind of afraid the rest of the room because you can't see them is looking around going like who's this asshole on the phone? Am I right, guys? Yeah. Brewer. Yeah. Brewer's great on the phone. Yes, he is. Um, well, he's yeah, great. I guess People who are naturally good at taking over the room right, are probably really good on the phone. Like Ron Bennington, great on the phone, great. Like he comes in and it's like, you know, he's just, 
They're just interesting people. Yeah. People who are just interesting to hear from. But but it's hard to do on the phone. There's a different skill for the phone. True. To make it, uh, like, because there's guys we've liked who we wouldn't let call in, who, um, yeah. you know, it's like, uh, Bonnie's very good on the phone. Yeah. Bonnie is good on the phone. Like, every, there's a room full of people laughing, and she can still act like she's sitting next to you. Yeah. On the phone, trashing Rich. She's such a killer. Yeah. <laughs> it's because she's such a killer. Yeah, I, I, I suck the energy out of any room when I'm on the phone. You do? Oh. Yeah. I, I literally might as well be calling it. Uh, calling in to read the obituaries, we have Jim <laughs> Norton. <laughs> I'm sure there have been like radio guys that are like, man, doesn't that doesn't he do radio? He's a we, comedian. Why, he's a stand-up. He does radio, right? Why? I, you know what it is? That's why I just can't pretend I'm in, like, I'm not, I just don't enjoy it. I don't, I don't what? I, I just, I can't hear that well. <laughs> huh? I don't know. The qu- You realize how bad the questions are? When you're on the phone and you're not in person, I think Travis is moving the mics to, for the for the camera. Oh, I thought Travis is very OCD. That's not where the microphone is supposed to be. I have a little gas. You almost got it, but I held it. Ah, oh, that would have been beautiful. Yeah, but he came over here, frightened me. <laughs> Don't scare Jim. But he's gonna strike me. <laughs> but I'll hold it. I won't do it. Yeah, you welcome, Troy. I thought we were having a Will Smith incident. Yeah, yeah. Mm, that's what. Oh, topical humor. Yeah. Yeah. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you're probably very worried about that with some of your edgier stuff. <laughs> yeah, What's it's like? changed stand up. You know, I go up every night thinking I hope I don't get slapped. Hey, <laughs> hey, Jim, tell me about this. Cancel culture. What's that all about? Oh. <laughs> oh, I know. I don't know. I don't. I don't mind I don't it, know. but when they miscategorize, miscategorize it, yeah, and they say like you know guys like Bill Cosby. Well, no, that was prison. <laughs> yeah, he's it's different than cancel culture. Committed a series of crimes, horrible crimes. I'm sick of the words cancel culture. It doesn't mean anything. I'm anymore. also sick of the word performative, which I've used many times. And I just heard it recently and I'm sick of it. Well, I mean, it's like uh, virtue signaling. It's like those little uh, buzz words that are passed around. Somebody hears yeah. it, they like how it sounds. It makes you sound like you have a degree in sociology, yeah. which only one of us do. Do you? Oh, yeah. Mm, I, I don't have a degree in broadcasting, that's for sure. Damn, Skippy. We're, <laughs> we're in voice. <laughs> <Your voice. laughs> yeah, yeah, it makes it sound like you're educated, yeah. and you know, you hear somebody else use it. There's a whole collection of words like that, and the list keeps growing, Yeah, because but, everybody needs to have an educated opinion on everything. But what is, but sometimes it is, unfo- I hate when a word like virtue signaling or something is actually the best term. It, there are many, it's a yeah. great term, it, it's a perfectly descriptive term, like there's no better way to say what that is than to say that that term. Absolutely. I don't mind it. I just, I you can always tell when somebody's using it because they want the reaction, right? Like somebody's using performative or virtue signaling or any of those buzz, even woke, yeah. because they want it to, they want it, they want it to be triggering. They, they want, want it to, to be, trigger that reaction. Yeah. I, uh, woke is, woke is getting a little, it's my, it's a, it's a, a, a little irritating. I, I, I read it all the time. Woke professor. Well, let's it's, see. What is it? What are you talking about? What does this mean? That's true. How about you let me determine if he's woke or not? Like, this is what I don't like. They don't need to tell me in the headline that somebody is. The Daily Mail is very guilty of this, even though I enjoy them because they have long stories and they're the only ones that report on certain things accurately. Um, but I, that annoys me. But I, I don't need to be told the professor's woke. Just tell me, professor fired. But they're also doing the opposite now, like in the Jordan Peterson story. Their headline was "Anti Woke Professor." <laughs> anti-woke. Jordan Peterson. I'm he like, is anti Woke. Anti Woke. I mean, Jordan Jordan Peterson. Like, look, if you're going to go on, and there's a fat lady on the cover of, uh, and she was actually kind of sexy. I'm yeah. not. I, I don't like. I, I don't like. Big, I don't like big girls. It's not my thing at all. And I typically would. But I was. I looked at those pictures. I'm like, yeah, I'd fuck, I'd fuck her. Yeah, um, <laughs> <laughs> I would. <laughs> and uh, to go out of your way and go, hey, she's ugly or not sexy, but then get mad when people tell you to go fuck yourself. What are you yeah. Doing? Yeah, Jordan Peterson has left uh, Twitter. Dr. Jordan Peterson, that's the... Like Jordan Peterson does not need to be... We don't need his opinion on the cover model of the Sports Illustrated Swimsuit Edition, especially when he wants to make it into a bigger issue than it is. Like, what's what's his... Uh, his tweet was annoying. It, it was like a... a can you pull up the tweet, Travis? I don't know if the actual text is in this article, and I don't want to misquote the tweet. But it was annoying in the sense that, like, he was acting like... This is a bigger picture Yeah, thing. this was an agenda that was yeah. being thrust upon us, where it was actually just like... 
bigger girl. She's hot. Yeah. You know? So, Her face is very pretty. I understand the body. She looks like Kalani from fucking uh, 90 Day. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, I see it. The original tweet is the post. Uh, Yumi knew shaking over Sports Illustrated swimsuit cover reveal. I guess she was very excited about it. And Dr. Jordan B. Peterson tweets out, sorry, not beautiful, and no amount of authoritarian tolerance is going to change that. First of all, if authoritarian tolerance is what's trying to convince us that this uh, cover model, which it's one yeah. of four cover models. Like there's, it's not like this is the only cover model. It's one yeah. of four. Let me see the rest of her body. And I, and I understand what he's saying, but yeah, let me see the rest of her body. But it's from the New York Post. Like the New York Post is not, like if, if anybody was going to be, New York Post is as anti-woke as any newspaper. I, uh, wait, did they put that up? Wait a minute. Uh, they, they, they're not, they go back and forth. They, they have the right wing. Compared to the other ones, but they're yes. still pretty fucking. They're very pussyish on reporting certain things and on reporting certain motivations from certain suspects. They're better than the other ones, but they're not great. I think the Daily Mail does a, a, a better job with that. Mm. But compared to the other ones, they look like they're fucking Hitler's diary. Yeah. Compared to fucking. <laughs> 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 yeah, I mean, there she is on the cover of Sports Illustrated. I mean, she's pretty hot. That picture's okay, yeah. I don't like the other one because they show, like, some side blubber. And, like, and, and, like I'm not saying they'd be judgmental. I, and and I'm, I'm, I have side fat. I don't belong on the cover of Sports Illustrated. Hey, Jim, you know, you're not perfect. Yeah, I know. I don't belong on that cover. <laughs> Jim, Jim's like, I make a living pointing that out. But she's one I wouldn't go after because, like, she's not, she's, yeah, there's something sexy about her. I would definitely. Well, you don't sit there going, like. Oh, she's awful. No. She has no business being a model. Like, she has. Plenty of business being a model. Yeah. Big juicy legs. Like, yeah, I get it. Is she cover worthy, though? Probably not, no. One of four covers. That's important here. Like, they, like it's not like she's the cover. They're putting out four different models on four different covers. I mean, it's literally having your cake and eating it, too. You know. What, yes, for lack of a better term. <laughs> I, mean, I didn't want to open it's, it's, Pandora's it's, box. It's literally but. having your cake and someone else's and eating both and then going back for thirds. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> yeah, well, like I mean, another one is like a 74-year-old woman. Like, is, is it? it? <laughs> yeah. Let's see her. I want to see. Because so far, you, me, new, I'm good with. Okay. Let's yeah. see the 74-year-old. And Kim Kardashian's another one, isn't she? Is Kim Kardashian... Okay, the 74-year-old could get it, too. Okay. Yeah. Right. Not such a bad old crow at that. Yeah, what up, May Musk? <laughs> May Musk is maybe... Is that Elon's oh, mom? Oh, that's Elon's mom. Okay, is that, Elon. Is she on the cover of Sports Illustrated? Mm -hmm. Oh. Okay, Elon. Got some good genes. Let me see who the other... Yeah, obviously, are. she's 74. She looks good for 74. Jesus. Because right now, I mean, it's... It's two people who wouldn't normally be on a cover. Right? Yeah, well, but May it's Musk. Elon's mom, and she's... In, there's, she's there's, she probably has money for good trainers. You think so? Yes. They're selling magazines, dude. Like I would date her. If she, if she wanted to go slumming and date me, I would date Elon's mom. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Can you imagine? I'd be like this. Elon, I understand we don't know each other yet, but I'm going to need a little bit of respect if I'm going to be your father. Do you, you know how much I'd love that if Elon was just crazy and he saw us out and he goes, can I call you dad? <laughs> I'd be like, yes, you can. Yeah, she looks good. 74, I mean. I wonder if my wife and... Children would on my wife if they would all understand if I had to leave my family to go be Elon Musk's stepdad for a while. Yeah, I would do it. Yeah, Kim Kardashian. Yeah. That's what I mean. Like, yeah, she's saying. And it's then it's twenty two. Ciara, like the R and B uh, sensation. Yeah, Hang on. my goodies, my goodies, not my goodies. I what he's saying about <clears throat> authoritarian tolerance is the idea of like. Lizzo being thrown at everybody and being and the her. only opinion you can have is wow she's a sexy big girl like he's saying it's not realistic and you can't force no matter how many times you tell us that it's not real I get what he's saying because it is forced on people to only have this one opinion that's polite but I think in that case he was incorrect yeah wait, and unnecessary and there are a lot of people that like fat girls let's be honest yeah. um, and, and part of me is almost like I get annoyed at that shit too and I'm like is, it, is it so bad if I get the idea of being, it being forced on you and like the okay. opinion you can have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You but, can't discuss it. But it's like you get and, and like when you see commercials and they have fat girls in them or whatever. It's like, 
I was talking to somebody, and they're like, why are they showing? And I said, because they're trying to sell products. That's or it. like, why are they showing all these interracial couples? Because they're trying to sell products. That's it. They want people. this they want, conversation. They want people to look at this and go, hey, that's me, so I'll buy this. And they want this exact conversation. It's 2022. How do you sell copies of the Sports Illustrated swimsuit issue? There's you porn. You don't need the Sports right. Illustrated swimsuit issue. Well... You get Jordan Peterson to tweet about the, the, the larger woman. You get people going like, Elon Musk's mom, number one, she's so old. And number two, he's a Trumper. Yeah. You put Kim Kardashian on there so Piers Morgan can freak out and talk about Kim Kardashian again. And then you put Sierra on there so people can remember the song Goodies. Yeah, she's not... Remember that song, right? That's a good song. Pete Pablo's on it. She's a big girl, but I don't think that she's like, hey, fuck her, tweet worthy. That's just my no. take on like I've seen some messes that if they were on the cover of Sports Illustrated, I would I would tweet oinking noises next to them. <laughs> She's not a mess. No. No. Yeah, and I see why she models fucking fat ladies' clothes. I mean, of course. She's sexy. She's sexy. Yeah. I see it. But Dr. But, Jordan Peterson but said... But he sees that shit that's going to piss people off anyway. But like, I, I, he, like, he's kind of used to it, getting blowback. What's he... I don't know. He said, isn't he used to it? He said, bye for now. I think it was because uh, even like the Peterson followers were going like, dude, I mean, I'm normally with you, but she's kind of hot. She's not bad. Yeah. And it's you like, know? and it, it, there's also a part of me, and this is aimed only at me. Sure. And I'm like, am I really that mad that there's shining a nice light on a fat late? Like, like what's the problem? Am, am I really like, for what do I care for? Like, I'm, I know how I look. I guess I, I have such awareness of my own appearance. You're sexy as hell, Jim. Yeah, I, that's what I'm trying to tell you. Oh, sorry. <laughs> but like, I know I'm not. But I know I'm not. You're a handsome guy, bro. Sports Illustrated cover worthy. Like, I know I'm dumpy. But uh, if a woman tells you, like, no, you look really good, it does feel nice. Just take the compliment. I, I've had that. Cause I'm on Gutfeld sometimes. And I realize what a fucking fat frog I look like. You think I don't see myself on the monitor? Yeah, I know. Of course I do. <laughs> you think I don't want to scream when I look over? <laughs> Pinch, pinching the old shirt out. Oh, yeah. that fucking pig? Greg's talk. Oh no, oh. it's me. Oh. <laughs> but I've had women say like, "Oh no," and I'm not fishing for compliments. I really mean it. Like it's the first thing I say if someone's like, "You look really good." I, I was like, "No, I look." I got a text from Doctor Drew, who I love. Hey, great job on Godfell. And I'm like, I look fat. It's all I can think to say. It's true. Jim. He's like, oh, you look good. Give and yourself like, a break. Yeah, take the compliment. You look but, fine. But I don't, it's Dr. Drew, for God's sake. It's love line. I don't mean it to... <laughs> I don't need the compliment back. Like I'm just saying it because I feel like a liar if I don't. Yeah, but I it's feel like a liar. Ass, you know what I'm talking about. Like, yeah, I, you look good for 53. I mean, come on. You do look good for 53, and you're getting texts from love lines. I look younger than I, but maybe a little younger. You look good for 53. You got a good body for Although 53. Although I do have to be in taking heart medication, unfortunately. You do? And even if you think that... Like, can't that's help not it. what you need to respond. You're right, to. but it's no. but it's not for compl. It's only because it's, it's like a legit feeling, and I feel like a liar if I don't say it. Like I'm fucking. Like, let's just get this out of the way. It's like there's nothing worse than the embarrassment of everybody knowing something and you thinking. Like, do you know what I mean? Like when I told you when there was that kid in high school, who there was two. There's a, co- a, ho- a Halloween co- uh, costume contest in the in the the lunchroom, and the whole fucking school was there. And this one senior who was really funny came out. With a fucking an overcoat, and he opened his overcoat, and he had a giant cloth dick and balls. That's hilarious. The place went fucking. Cr- it was Bernie Mac on Def Jam <laughs> <laughs> level laugh. They fucking murdered. <laughs> I mean, the laugh was so good, the applause was so thunderous, and the next guy up was let's just not say not the brightest of school members, well liked. Not the brightest. And he came out wearing a leather jacket, and he was doing the thumbs up like Fonzie. Hey. Uh. And he was doing thumbs up. And they were still cheering from the last one. And then he just kept thumbs upping because he thought they he were thought cheering. They were his cheers. And that's the guy I don't want to be. You never want... Every, yeah, but you're getting... Think, a, you understand? You never want to think the opposite of what they're all thinking. I mean, I get it, but you're getting a direct text from Dr. Drew. It's not like... Like, it's not like you're going to text him back, oh, thanks, Dr. Drew. And he's like, not you. I meant to text somebody else. No, I know, but it's just a, it's a weird thing where it's it's in there and you fucking got to say it because it feels like a lie not to. Point being, it do, I acknowledge it does feel good when someone says that. So why would I get mad if someone says that to her? Right. Like, why would that annoy me when I know I look like a tub of shit? Not a tub. A tub. All right. I, I a look, bag. I look like a, a, a Japanese tub of shit, a standing <laughs> tub. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Jordan Peterson left Twitter. He said, uh, 
what are they? I, I, I feel like security is going to be sweeping serious because it's Harry Styles Day. It's a what very, time is he performing? I don't know, but it's a very tense environment. A lot in here. of people. A lot of people. They are? Yeah. It's a big deal, I guess, right? Yeah. yeah. He's, he's coming in here, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> uh, talking to him? <laughs> yeah. All right. Hope him and Quinny come in together. <laughs> Jerry Styles. <laughs> <laughs> Doug, did a, awesome. Doug did a fucking cameo for a 16 year old yesterday who was a One Direction fan. Uh, and it was, it was Jerry, I know Jerry Styles. Did somebody get it for their daughter? Yeah, because she's humiliated that he idolizes so Doug. Disappointing. Yeah, that's why he did it. Some dad was, <laughs> she, his daughter's horrified that he loves Doug. Oh, maybe I'll do that for Riley's birthday. <laughs> yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah, Riley. <laughs> so cool. Enjoy the life of Riley. Yeah, yeah. life of Riley. Ba ba ba. Riley him up. <laughs> uh, he Jordan Peterson wrote, "The endless flood of vicious insult is not is really not something that can be experienced anywhere else." Um, about his tweet, uh, I like to follow people I know, uh, but I think the incentive structure of the platform makes it intrinsically uh, and dangerously insane. So you mute or block people or just don't check your app mentions? Don't check your app mentions. Or maybe like... Why do you have to check your app mentions? By the way, he has tweeted many, many, many times since he said he was... Oh, he, he did. People, All right. Yeah. People are okay. addicted to Twitter, dude. And they and, and it's like... They want to seem like they're above it. Like, he's pointing out, you know, the, 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 the flaws in the system. And he's pointing out what's so bad about Twitter. Meanwhile, he's the one who, when nobody asked him his opinion... He just decided to tweet out that the cover model for Sports Illustrated swimsuit is not attractive. Yeah. Like, you're doing it, dude. I, I mean, like, who cares what they say to you in response, and who cares if he likes her or not? Who I don't cares? even know why, why would people get mad to begin with if he, if he said that. Who gives a fuck? But it's like you know that they are. I can understand about her if she got mad. But you know you, the, your at mentions are going to get flooded. Yeah, of course. You know the way. You don't. Yeah, you do. You just know. You do. Yeah. You know, I've done it before. I know it's you know it's going to happen. You can't get mad at the thing that you know. It's just the way it is. Yeah, it is what it is. But it's avoidable. If you don't want that, if you don't want that heat, How don't I, tweet about this. Nobody cares about Jordan uh, Jordan Peterson's opinion of the Sports Illustrated model. How about you just or you only allow people you follow to at mention you? Uh, that because that that simply yes. means I only want to hear from yeah. people who I I want to. Then I, again, if you're following them, you'll see it anyway. Yeah, but they're the only people I want to hear from. I want to curate my experience. Yeah. I want to curate who responds to my tweet. These are the opinions I care about, and that's not censoring anybody's speech because they can. People can still talk can about still you as tweet. much as they want. Well, they can still like at mention. Sure. You. Yeah. yeah, they can they still, still reply won't, won't to, reply on the chain. Yeah, and they can still see what you say and say it like. Yeah, yeah, just only allow them. Only, yeah, only see people you want to follow, you want to see, or turn off replies altogether. Yeah, nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with turning because off people replies. can still see what you say and still write about it and comment on. It. They just sure. can't reply you in that way. If you don't want replies, you can turn them off. Also interesting that he did he tweet anything about Elon Musk's mom or no? Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> interesting that he didn't go after Elon's mom. She's hot. Oh. I mean, but so is the big girl. Right? He just doesn't like big women. He likes old women? You think he likes 74-year-old women? Like, apparently. You think he's saying that Damn. that... That's a good point. That Yumi is not beautiful, and he and there's an authoritarian regime that is trying to convince us that she is. But he does legitimately find Elon's mom beautiful in a swimsuit. Yeah. Well, maybe... You think he... that's his opinion, or do you think that maybe he's picking and choosing... I think maybe he you can't stop aging, but you could stop eating. So he thinks it's beautiful. Yeah. He thinks a 74-year-old woman yeah. is well, he's, he's older gentleman himself, so maybe he just doesn't like plump he's women. He's not 74. He's up there. I do think that he might have been selective. Taking of course he's targets. being selective. Yeah. Of course he's he being fuck selective. fuck Elon's mother. No. no. Why would you not? No, exactly. Exactly. It's all the same shit. You know, yeah. You're, not, you're allowed to not like plump women, though. Sure. I don't know anything about that. I don't know either. <laughs> I don't get it. I don't understand it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you're allowed, but if you voice your opinion, and it's a harsh opinion, I don't. It's difficult to have sympathy for other people having an opinion about your opinion. Right. 
right? Yeah. It's the same shit. Yeah. You know? Like, I've been such a dick about people's appearances. I've been a dick about everything. You think I'm upset when someone tells me I'm, like, fucking... Yeah, if you got tits, I know. That'd be great. I got it. Somebody was like, Jim, where's your chin? And you were like, whoa. Hey, whoa, easy. Whoa. Easy. We're having fun, man. Yeah. Come on, man. When Will fucking Sylvans yeah. told me I look like I'm wearing a beekeeper's mask. Because <laughs> of my bad fucking chin and neck. I see it. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah. Yeah. Just yeah. when you think you've heard all the oh, Jim has no that. chin I, joke. I never forgot that one. A beekeeper's mask. <laughs> yeah. Fucking nailed me good. <laughs> oh, I love it. So did we get, uh, did we find out aliens are real? Oh, it was, uh, as I, uh, I'm trying to think of a better term than nothing burger. <laughs> Another fucking nonsense. No. Another nonsense. Horse shit, non-information. That dumb fucking th- that silver thing they showed floating, which is almost certainly a balloon, a fucking mylar balloon. Ugh. Well, they said there was one thing that they just had no idea what it was. Right? They couldn't determine. There were some, and a couple of those guys that came out uh, disconnected from that. These three military guys said they saw something in Egypt that they might have snapped. The, you know, those are guys that like probably right. probably whoever built the pyramids. It's not, it's not, it sounds stupid, but it's not. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> but like those guys, I would rather listen to than these fucking assholes giving us. Ne- Who thought there was going to be real information or anything helpful? Nothing, huh? But I told you that fucking, that glowing green triangle was shit. It's nothing. Nick, Nick West redid it. He was right. With the I know. I know he's right. Like, he's, it's just a, a glowing green triangle. Come yeah. On. I like the way you said triangle. Triangle. Oh! <laughs> triangle. The Pentagon Tuesday showcase declassified, declassified, speaking of fun ways to say yeah. things, uh, declassified photos and video of UFOs to Congress, including a flying object without a specific explanation, as lawmakers pressed military officials on the mysterious sightings. What is it? Pressing them. What is it? I don't know. Why don't you know? I bet you half of these things are either A, our things that are on such a need-to-know basis, we don't even tell our pilots about it, drones, and other ones are hypersonic things in, in like, Chinese weapons, mm-hmm. or they're hypersonic drones that we have that we're telling nobody about, so we right. can, you know. Yeah, the military still got secrets on, on their own weaponry, because yeah, there's so many leaks everywhere. Yeah. Uh, they asked him, he said, uh, this is what, who was it, uh, Scott Bray, Deputy Director of Naval Intelligence, uh, he said, uh, I do not have an explanation for what this specific object is. By the way, do you know another reason I think that they're talking about this a lot now is because there's going to be so many sightings of things that are supposed to be secret weapons. They like the idea. And I've always uh, heard that theory. The military loves the idea of UFOs because it's an explanation for things that are actually man-made that they don't have to own or that they don't have to explain. That's military hardware. Like all these years when... It was the fucking uh, stealth bomber. All, all these things that, that look, they look like stealth bombers. They look like stingrays flying in the air. And half of them are probably stealth bomber sightings in Nevada. And they never came out and said, you're working on stealth technology that isn't picked up on radar. And it was 15 years before or 20 years before. So I think they love this shit because it, it, conf- it muddies the waters. Right. They could be sitting there preparing for Russia. And testing all these sky weapons. Yeah. And go like, yeah, I don't know what that is. Yeah. It could be anything. Could yeah. be, I don't know, maybe maybe extraterrestrial. Who yeah. knows? Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm maybe some of the stuff they really can't explain either. Yeah, but it also could be a balloon that somebody just got away from somebody. When, again, I was on Mick West Twitter last night just enjoying myself. You were? Uh, was he having a good time? Like, I mean, he's, he's, he's rational about it, but when you look at it, he said this is almost certainly a Mylar balloon. When you look at the one thing outside and you look at it, you're like, yeah, it looks like a kid's birthday party balloon. He, he, likes, fucking, he likes spoiling it, though. He does. He but does it, like to spoil. But that's a guy who I think when, when eventually there's something he says, like, hey, I have no idea. But that thing... Doesn't look like a fucking UFO. I don't know why there's a shadow. I'm guessing that's because the image is blown up. Yeah, it looks like a fucking. You can almost see a string coming down from it, even though you can't. It looks like a balloon. <laughs> you can see where the string would be. Doesn't look like a UFO. It looks like a fucking balloon. I still don't know why the government just doesn't hire him. He's so smart. What? Okay. Well, I, 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 I agree. Uh, well, I, I, agree. I mean, it's like he's got all the answers. He's you go at to least, him and be like, "Hey, can you explain this?" And he explain. They go, "Okay, forget it." He at least gives. <laughs> you know what it is? He gives. 
he he gives enough details where you could see how he comes to his answer, even if he's wrong. Right. He'll give enough of a of a real explanation as opposed to just like yeah, you know. There's no vagary in what he says and what he can't explain. I think he says he can't. But I, that that to me makes sense that that's a balloon. It looks like one. I'd rather have it be a UFO. Yeah, I'd much rather have it be a UFO. Et's family leaving. Anything. Yeah. Anything. Got to put out the Reese's pieces. Yeah. You don't know why they wouldn't just hire Mick West? Yeah. He's got all and the if answers. he's so smart, why doesn't Twitter verify him? Because they probably well, I don't have, know. That's, that's, that's not... They don't. Well, they, they're censoring. They don't like free speech. We've seen that. Yeah, Mick West rules. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't think they verify people based on intelligence. Yeah. No, they don't. <laughs> like, I don't Clearly. think that's the... <laughs> Clearly they don't. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't know how Jim and I would have snuck under yeah. the radar. <laughs> yeah, I just don't know why you wouldn't pull this guy in to... The government pull them in and be like, "Hey, what is this?" Well, I mean, they, you they do have, have a, to you do have to question a world in which Mick West doesn't have a blue check mark, but I Travis Teft does. That's yeah. a very good point. Yeah, it's, it's bad. It's a bad uh, yeah, system. Problem with that. I'll tell you why they don't hire Mick West because they have a lot of Mick Wests working for them already. Okay. Guys that just Apparently debunk some shit. dumb ones. Just guys that just debunk <laughs> things. They just debunk things and they're like, "No, this is probably what this is." So the government went through this whole ordeal for this press release and this comes out mm-hmm. and then Mick has come along and goes no this is wrong it's just so a she balloon just went to Mick ahead of time well they just mean, skipped the whole Congress hey, before thing. we do this press release what is this and he's like oh it's a balloon dude and like, okay forget it. we're gonna appreciate you Mick yep he's, just spe- he's speculating but he, look at how he's, he's like a single bright light reflection like he's giving you reasons and he breaks down why he thinks it's not just crazy uh, conjecture. He at least gives a, a, a. You could follow his logic, whether or not you agree is fine. But mm-hmm. I like that. I like that he does it like that. You where see you where could, he, how he came to and, it, and that's all I want. And I want a guy who's who's a UFO guy to give me as much detail as he gives me, and convince me otherwise. Because I want to be convinced otherwise. But they just none of them do it. Jeremy Corbell should fucking hire this guy to debunk everything he says, and then only put stuff out that he can't. You know that that's that's how you fucking get people on board. Yeah, instead of getting it, like, yeah, there's a lot of instead people. Instead of putting UFO noises, <laughs> <laughs> and Jeremy Corbo walking off slowly in the distance. Yes, I mean, what the hell is I'm he going to talk? He's got to talk about something. Yeah, I mean, I guess want everything debunked. <laughs> you got to say he's got to keep his audience engaged. <laughs> that is true, but you, there's a couple that they can explain, and those are the ones I want to hear about. Like the couple where they're like, we really don't know what this is, or we have no idea. Those no, are the they, ones I'm interested in. When they're doing those documentaries, it should be like, when you go, look, this is a news journalist, and this is his opinion on it. And then like two clicks away, you see this is a news journalist yeah. who's been obsessed with UFOs right. for 35 years and is on every UFO show. George and Dory. called it. Yeah, I yeah. called in to like... He's, uh, he's a call with Art Bell. Art Bell. Art was away. Like, it's like, this is not... It's just not Ernie Anastas giving yeah. us information yes. about UFOs, yeah, yes. you know? Keep on fucking that alien. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If yeah, they, no, I do think that there should be, like, uh, I think, like, that, uh, like, uh, what's it, Bob Lazar. Yeah. Like, if there had been somebody in that, that uh, Corbel was like, I'm going to go talk to this guy who does not believe yeah. Bob Lazar and just present that side so that the audience at least hears it and then it's responded to. I feel like a lot of times when you get into the UFO arguments, you're right. Like, and you've, it's a brick wall that you've hit with a lot of people where it's like, you go just, I, I, I understand that you, you believe so purely in step two, three, and four. Get me past step one. Because yeah. I need step one to be true yes. to get to step two and three. You can't gloss over the yeah. giant hole in step one. And he said, I guess, I guess Scott Bray had said, See, he explains the single bright reflection is present as broke which I guess is some kind of a, a photo term, uh, the white region. Given the slow speed indicated by Bray, this is probably a Mylar balloon. It's not crazy to say that because Scott Bray from Naval Intelligence said that it's a slow-moving object. Mm-hmm. So, like, it, it makes sense. A balloon floats, and a plane, I think, flew, and I guess in the distance caught this. You think they should just hire him? Well, I did, when on that video, have you seen the video of this? No. It just, no. It's just like a flash. So if it's a balloon, it would have stayed stationary. Maybe it popped. Maybe. Let me see, <laughs> let, let me see the video. I want to see the video. Because, I, because if the plane is flying by it, it might appear that it's doing something. Let's get to the bottom of but this. But if the guy indicated it was a slow speed. Yeah. Yeah, I think they should just hire Mick. I mean, he's obviously got all the answers. Wow. I would agree. You know, Troy's being... No, but they don't. No, no, no. I just, I'm just saying he debunks everything. So they don't need Mick. Because they have guys that that think like Nick, but they, they don't because they're 
putting out press statements that these are UFOs. Troy took a shot at Teft this morning. I know. I'm glad. <laughs> yep. But they're throwing a, they're throwing these out because these are ex- explainable ones. And they kind of like, well, we don't know. It's all it's all distracting nonsense. I really think from other military hardware. I think that this is about they don't want to admit that they have these hypersonic drones that can pick off a Soviet missile from whatever. Yeah, they don't want to. They just don't want to give away the what they have. That's more, the majority of it. But Troy, you think Mick West probably could have wrapped up that three hour hearing in about fifteen minutes? He should just showed up and said, "Look, it's fucking balloons and shit." Is, yeah, it's balloons, guys. Come yeah. on. And then it's like, oh, you're, you're you're so right, Nick. Everything you say is so right. <laughs> and everything you just debunk everything so perfectly. Oh, Mick, but we love you we so love much. Oh, oh Mick. Yeah. <laughs> you're a better Mick than Mick Jagger. You're so cool. I, 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 I will ignore the sarcasm and say I agree completely. <laughs> you're on you're on the money today. <laughs> I want to transcribe this. I don't want to hear the tone of it. I just want the transcription. But uh, no, there's then these but these three fucking soldiers came out and I do like that they're going to encourage pilots to report anything now without stigma like that's really what came out of this that's great is that pilots can now report anything they see without being afraid of looking like assholes or crackpots so maybe you'll get a lot more of those re- things reported yeah and um, also uh, those three soldiers that came out and said they saw these eight things kind of flying in unison with each other in Egypt or over the desert in Egypt right those guys are yeah, they want to. Sh- what, by the way, this is the best video they could put on the fucking television. <laughs> is this the balloon video? Let's see. Okay, I'm Fly looking by. at it. Okay, uh, wait. I didn't see shit. I think it's right at the beginning of the video. It oh, is. Watch right. up top. There you go. Okay. I really don't. It's it just floated. Was... Did it f- disappear? Or it just floated there. It looks like it's floating. It's a flyby. <laughs> Huh. It it's so right. right. It's not that good video. No, it stinks. That's the best that they have with mil. But again, when you're flying by at five hundred, was that a military to get it jet? On your phone or something? Is that a military jet? It I, looks like it. Yeah. yeah. I mean, when you're flying by something at four hundred miles an hour, it's yeah. kind of hard to catch it. Yeah. I'd be so scared if I saw a balloon that high, like just a man-made thing floating helplessly. What if I was attached to it? I get that feeling. You know what I mean? I know like, exactly what you it mean. It looks so lonely up here and, and, and terrifying. You're not supposed to be up here. You're not supposed to be up this high. Like, no man. Oh, has... you go back, Trash. There it is. Okay. Let's see. I don't think it's a balloon. You don't think it's a balloon? I don't know. Mick West thinks that you're an idiot. Yeah, of course he does. <laughs> He's a genius. <laughs> but it's flo- It's just floating. It looks like it's floating. It doesn't zip away or anything? Or... I don't think so. I think it's a flyby. It flies by. It looks yeah. Like... Let's see. I mean, it's it's a split second. Yeah, I don't it's know hard. Sure, it can be so. There's only three the frames. I think there's only three frames of it. Oh, like there's three Look, moments. There oh yeah, but you can't tell if the phone is moving or if the balloon is moving. Right? right. Did he did he fly by it again or no? I don't know. You would assume. Yeah, it looks like it looks almost like the phone falls. Um, yeah, that's the be- that's the only one they showed. I gotta that's, go with Mick West on this one. That's not such good proof of. Extraterrestrials, no, yeah, yeah, that's not that good. But this is the garbage they fucking cart out here. Yeah, I mean, it's just, what a waste of everyone. Is that time. the one they couldn't explain? Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's the. It's they're giving you. Sh- it's exactly what I knew it would be. They're giving us shit. But what do you think they talked about in the closed doors meeting, though? The military capabilities of things that that are seen. Like this, this is uh, we're working on certain things, and a couple of these sightings are actually hardware that we're not going to discuss. It, it was probably very vague like that. But I'm guessing that they gave them a little bit more of the military insight. To some of these things. What about the underwater deep ocean aliens? I mean, look, either Fravor and Alex Dietrich are lying or this just inexplicable. Because I, I can't think, they're, they're not stupid. No. Nope. 40 foot cigar shaped thing that mimicked the aircraft. Although she kind of let him explain that. She didn't explain that as well as he did. She mm-hmm. almost went out of her way to say she didn't see it, he did. Mm-hmm. Um, so I don't know. I don't know if I believe any of it. I was so excited to. Don't. Next one you hit, comes up. Don't get excited. I know. I can't. I can't because fucking M to the W comes along. Yeah. And he's explained all of them logically. Yeah. And if I have a better explanation, I'll go with it. But so far? No. I and, and, and Hasn't happened. And a dear friend was sending me videos going, I hate to see you propping this guy up. Look at this video. And I would watch the videos. And I'm like, that guy's not explaining it as well. Right. Like he's taking me through something. 
and he's not convinced. Like he's going by what the gimbal camera does this, and when it turns, it does this, and he's displaying it on a screen. And you could follow one, two, three, four. Like I'm a dope, but I can at least follow logic when someone's explaining it as we go. It's also a thing when somebody's explaining something, and you can read into their language that they want it to be true. And a lot of times you can, like yeah. when they're not, they don't come across scientifically. There's too much emotion in it yeah. when they really want you to believe that it's true. It makes me go like, why, why do you want me to believe this so much? Yeah. Why do you need, it should be apparent. Like what I want somebody to do is go over a Mick West video and like a guy who knows, who understands these cameras and all that stuff and goes, yeah, this is a really well done video. Here's exactly what he gets wrong. See, the gimbal camera doesn't do this. Debunk gim- the debunker? Uh, but you know what I mean? Like that's what I need. Find me a guy who can go over these Mick West videos. Just as well, who understands the cameras and the angle, because he knows everything about the shit. At least it looks to me like he does. Find me a guy who can say no, he has no idea what he's talking about because he's never operated one. What about Troy? What do you, <laughs> Troy, what do you think the problem is? Nobody smarter than Mick West? I don't know. Am I asking for anything crazy, though, when I no. say I just want a guy who can, who I don't know what but I'm talking about. You, you do love Mick West, so I think he does no wrong in your eyes. <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> I do. You're right. Do you think he's infallible? No. <laughs> but I'm saying find me the guy to make him fallible. Show, give me the video. I'll watch it. I'll, I'll, I'll give you an hour of my time. I'll watch the video. Not someone making some eager to prove video, but a methodical OCD fuck like he is. Yeah. Who goes over every angle, who probably does not have a great social life, probably who not. sits in front of a computer screen and knows everything about photography. Show me that guy going over Mick West's video and saying, here's what he gets wrong. And I'll watch it. All I'm saying is, find me a guy that can debunk Mick West, bring him into the town square for everybody to see, and I'll believe it. Dude, I'm willing to watch videos debunking this guy. I don't give a shit. I, I hope he's wrong. Yeah. I don't want him to be right. I believe you. Yes. Just show me that guy. Yeah. And and every time I think I got it, nope, the video's muddied and confusing and weird. And it's a guy in his fucking garage talking about a cat. What are you doing? Right. Or they go like this. They go like this. They're saying that we can't prove this part, but does that mean this part's not true? And it's like, but you didn't go go back. Just prove yeah. the first part. Cover that first puddle. Just cover it. Don't say like, well, just because that's not, just because that's not provable doesn't mean wait 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 wait. wait. Just yeah. go and go and fill this hole. I just don't know why the government would lie. <laughs> like, why why is Mick West the guy that's going to be like, no, the government's lying to you. This isn't really. This is what this but is. But did he say they're lying though? He's no, not- he won't <laughs> say that they're lying. But if if the government comes out and goes, oh, this is something we don't know what it is, and he's like, oh, it's just a Mick West is just a well, balloon. Well, he's speculating. He yeah, says he this says is probably. probably. This I think is probably a mylar balloon. He's not saying definitely. I also think Mick West can get away with saying Mick West can get away with being wrong more than the government can get away with being wrong. You can't go into Congress. And go like this is the hearing. We're the government. I don't know. Maybe it's this. It's like when you go to your doctor. Your doctor can't Vinnie give Boom you Doctor Vinnie Boombots. He can't give you a bunch of maybes, right? If unless he can say it declaratively and prove it in a court of law, he can't give you the diagnosis because he'll get sued for malpractice. Unless he's telling you, maybe you know, I don't know. Like yeah, unless he's giving you the absolute. Like, this is just. So if Mick says this is a mylar balloon. If, then how is somebody else in the government not like, hey, you know what? This is probably a mylar balloon. Maybe you don't come out and say that this is a UFO because this is probably what this is. Because if it's probably, it's not definitely, which means we haven't identified it yet, which means it's unidentified. Yeah, Mick identified it. He gave no, it a he prob- probably. 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 It's a huge, a huge difference between this is most certainly and this is probably. <clears throat> and the reason they don't do that is for what I said before. I think they like the fucking wild goose chase. I really believe that they like that. To, so they can keep working on their shit? So they can keep working on their shit. Like, I don't believe that naval intelligence is looking at this, of all the things, as the big video. The guys, there's much... There's much more detailed videos than this or longer videos than this that they that photo that came out Sean Donnelly is big with this shit and he sent me that photo oh, that came that. out he loves it uh they say it's the best UFO photo ever taken it's from a plane it's from the 1971 Nanu Nanu uh, <laughs> <laughs> Well yeah I, I, I no, it's funny I met Robbie I go I go uh, I go shoes but you know I said that though you know Okay. Um, cool. But do, no, it, it, it's the 1971 photo. Uh, they were doing aerial photos of a landscape, and the guy didn't even know he took the photo. Um, he took this. It was just every 20 seconds. It was snapping landscape photos, 
and they had no idea they took it. Uh-huh. Um, and they said that the people at National Geographic, when they finally realized it, asked them not to. It looks very much, I, I've read a lot about this, it looks very much like the inside of a big, you ever see like a big, uh, a big camera lens, like one of those? It looks like almost like a reflection of one of some camera lens. Oh. Yeah, that looks fake to me. But but, but they it's, it's, they said they've gone into like the negatives and stuff, and they don't think it's been faked. It might be a glitch, but they don't think it's like a fake thing, like a purposefully. Yeah, yeah. They don't think it's a hoax. They, but whatever it is, it's probably something that looks like something that isn't. Like all those photos from the fifties, that you see a flying saucer. It literally looks like a hubcap. Right. Some of them do. Yeah. Like, like somebody just threw it in the air. And, yeah. yeah. But this one, they said that they've examined a lot of the negatives. Um, and they said it's hard to imagine that it's a scratch on the negative because it wasn't in the frame before or after. Yeah. So it's not like there's this thing going through the... What about so, that fire in the sky by, sky guy? It was Travis... Uh, don't tell me his last name. Uh, not, not Travis Bickle. He was the good one. Yeah. It wasn't Travis Taft. His mom left in a spaceship. That yes. Not, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. Uh, <laughs> yes. There's a difference is when you look over him, you go, oh, that, that space is filled with shit. <laughs> I'm sorry, Travis. Yeah, Travis <laughs> Walton. <laughs> yeah. That's what you're going to apologize for. Sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, the- <laughs> no, I apologize to Travis Walton for lumping you in with him. Yeah, Travis Walton is the guy who uh, has the most famous UFO abduction story ever. Yes, uh, even more than Betty and Barney Hill. Yes, the uh, the book and the movie Fire in the Sky is based on his story. Yeah. Uh, you know, he's got, uh, I think that one of the big things is that he's got a bunch of people that back him up, like the people he was working with back up that this light was shining in. And I guess he had gotten into like a fist fight with one of them before. Like they weren't necessarily his friends. They were his coworkers, but they weren't necessarily his friends. He disappeared for a few days. And uh, yeah, there were witnesses. I mean, thinks he got abducted and maybe probed. We don't know for sure. Maybe yeah. probed. Yeah. Who knows? Um, yeah, Betty and Barney Hill had a compelling story too. You know, their their the granddaughter fights in UFC. Really, Angela Hill. Yeah, she's a uh, 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 Barney Hill's granddaughter. I believe grand, not great grand. I think it's granddaughter. I hope she doesn't get knocked into orbit. Well, I'll tell you one thing. I hope she doesn't go flying away in a spaceship. <laughs> the guy that offers nothing. <laughs> That's terrible. I don't think that she. Um, yeah, they're an interracial couple in the sixties. I I don't know if she ever met him or or he was dead before she was born. I don't remember I asked her about it on UFC Unfiltered. Yeah, yeah. But so, you don't know about the Fire in the Sky story? Yeah, yeah. I've seen the movie. Uh, years ago. I don't remember it. Right. I put almost no stock. Stuck! You think it's the story of Lower Stock? I, I put almost zero interest in abduction stories. Right. Zero. How come? There's no proof in any of them. Right. Uh, I, I, like, with all the video cameras now and all the stuff we're getting. But those three, do you see what those three soldiers came out with about the thing in, in Egypt they saw? That's compelling. Right. It was uh, it was a story yesterday where three soldiers think they saw something over the desert in Egypt, and all three of them think they saw it. Yes, and they one guy said he was scared shitless. Um, I mean, that's where could they have been? It's promising. It's it's more interesting than that dumb photo they showed in Congress. The probably balloon that piece of shit photo <laughs> that naval intelligence carts out. Oh, I know what this is a photo of. What's that piece of shit? It's shit. <laughs> it's a shit photo. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how high up it was. He's in the sky with the airplanes. All right, let's see what this guy, uh, Frank in Texas. Okay. Uh... Oh, Frank was abducted. <laughs> What's going on, hey, Frank? Frank? Good evening. Good morning, gentlemen. Yeah, hey, I've buddy. got some food for thought. Okay. Okay. So good because I'm hungry for knowledge. Yeah. <laughs> well, maybe I'll teach you. Hey, uh, so <laughs> we've had the same elements on this planet since planet was around. We've had some geniuses all through time, okay, that have made some really cool things and, and made uh, made stuff to advance our history. How come our electronics, our computers, our anything to do with technology has come 1,000 times fold since 1947, since the, uh, I think it's 47, that the uh, UFO crashed? Well, I think because technology grows exponentially, right? So, of yeah. course, like, but, you know, of course how, it grows faster. Could, how come? How come it didn't grow exponentially prior to that? We were flying before then, weren't we? I mean, it's pretty Career. fucking amazing. Based on the, to go from the light bulb to the airplane, yeah, that's pretty sick. Yeah, but we we had, like I said, my point is we had all these same things with geniuses way before. 
It's just kind of odd, you know. It's food for thought. I'm not saying it's proof. No, no, you're you're, you're correct. But also, the thing I would have a hard time with that is if something crashed in Roswell, and we took it out. What on that UFO would have taken us to iPhones? Meaning, we built from Steve forty. Jobs. This is seventy years ago, right? Forty, sixty, eighty years ago. And we've gotten to iPhones, but look at for the first 40 or 50 years. Very, there was some technological revolution. What on that UFO was so primitive that it Dude, led us to iPhones? Meaning, like, 5G. anything on yeah. there would be so fucking advanced. It wouldn't be 60, 80 years ago American technology. Right, well, it'd be it'd be hundreds question. of years. It would be hundreds yeah. of years. Anything we have a, a thousand years in the future, yeah. maybe that's what you would have found on a Roswell UFO. But yeah, you, they had the technology yeah. to fly well, to another planet. Yeah, yeah, and, and to, and to mean, cross that distance. Well, that's a great question. I mean, but maybe smaller smaller bits of technology, you know, how to make the technology smaller. Maybe. I mean, there, there's, a, there's a lot of things that we could have learned. Who knows? But just a food for thought. I mean, hmm? you know, there, there's been a lot of stuff in history that could have changed but hasn't changed since that point in time. What did you say, Trey? Circuit boards. Oh. Hmm. Yeah. I imagine yeah. they're way beyond circuit boards. Like, I imagine... Anything flying on a <clears throat> an alien technology is way beyond circuit boards. It's just it's difficult for me to take circuit boards seriously uh, because the person who said it thinks supposedly is spelled with an I. Yeah, uh, man, I'm a bad. <laughs> <laughs> As the first letter. Right. <laughs> All right, thanks a lot. Thank you, Frank. Right, yeah, I, and I understand that. Like the the technology took us. But I, everything we have, I still, I still think everything we have a hundred years from now will be chimpanzee technology compared to what you need to do what these craft are supposedly doing. Yeah, it's like when uh, Bobby Laser was checking out the UFOs, <laughs> and he was like, we, "They still don't know what the fuck it is. They've been trying to reverse engineer it for thirty years." Right, meaning Bobby that like Laser. <laughs> Bobby Laser's out there scanning his handprints. How do you know that? I saw your team. Uh, <laughs> And yeah, the, the reverse engineering process, they, like they've only sure. figured out so much, meaning that oh. we still haven't gotten all of the tech out of the Roswell spaceship because they're so far advanced that we're only able to I reverse see. engineer a little bit, I a see. little bit at a time. Okay, it's been a while though. It's been eighty years. Imagine how good they are at spaceships now. I mean. Yeah, they're probably so small. They're probably about the size of mylar balloons. Now that I think about it, yeah. I just think that whatever we we if they're flying around, if we are working for the military on invisibility technology, just with cameras shooting behind you and cloaks, cloak, yeah, they're just invisibility cloaks. cloaks. They, they look like a cloak, but it's like it's just like a camera. Harry Potter. Why the fuck wouldn't these things have them? Like invisibility we, cloaks. Yeah, we already have things like the stealth bomber and that can kind of evade radar. Yeah. Why the fuck wouldn't these things have them? Like, we, we think something's going to fly through a wormhole and have our dog shit technology. It's crazy. It makes no sense to me. That is actually a pretty good point. We're judging it against our technology. Beep, boop, beep, boop. Big yeah. fucking lights. Our technology that, by the way, can't go from planet to planet. No. <laughs> but we think that they're just going to glow. No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why they would glow. Explain to me why they glow. It's a fucking, it's a waste of technology. Why are they glowing? For what? So this you, serves no purpose. So you know purpose. when it's on. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. It's what my fucking, it's, it's, what, it's what I plug something in, it glows till you know, it's charging. Yeah. Okay, good. Duh. And we think these things that come through wormholes are just glowing so we can see them in the night sky. How do you know if it's on? Uh, yeah, it's shit. I hate it. I wish it wasn't shit, but it is. Yeah. Another fucking bus. I knew this fucking briefing would be... It makes me angry because I have such high hopes. You do? Yes, of course. Yeah. Yeah, nothing. No, no, just crap. Nothing. They're going to be tiny. Our drones are the size of a fucking softball. Right. But we think these big clunky tubs of shit <laughs> are flying through bending space time at 40 feet long. Yeah, you no, can, they're not. You can get a tiny little drone at the mall. You can get one at Sharper Image. Yeah. Dan in New Hampshire. What's up, Dan? Hi, Dan. Hey, guys. Hello. Hey, Jim. Hey. It's my two favorite Ordain priests. Listen, we got technology from the Allspark and Transformers. Didn't you guys watch that movie? I've, I've never seen it. They're dope. formers that uh, I like, well, they, though. I like that. They got an alien technology that they, uh, you know, turns technology into better technology, basically. They could turn from school buses to robots. That's true. They can. 
Yeah. Anyway, that's it. Punch out. All right. See you later. Robots in disguise. You're just sitting there yeah. going, oh, look at that truck driving down the highway. Oh, shit, it's a big giant robot here to save the day? Thank God. Yeah, that's how it all feels. Just, I, I trust me. I, I want it to be good. I want it to be real. Oh, okay. Um, so Morgan was going to say, what if they're glowing to generate heat? But again, we don't need to do that. Yeah, like, I gotta, if we I don't gotta, need to do that, why would they? Maybe that's how their technology works. It's advanced. It doesn't so sound glows, advanced at all. Yeah, it sounds It sounds like something. Maybe it's aesthetic. I got a radiator. <laughs> it doesn't glow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't believe that anybody would come and, and visit us with glowing no. shit. Even if, it, even if it protects them or whatever it does, or even if it's a, a break over through to another dimension. Let's let them know we're coming. They're able to cross in and out. Let them know about it. Yeah, they'd probably be like, wait, before we go invade other planets, we should probably turn our spaceship invisible. Yeah. Probably and, a little easier. And by the way, I, admittedly, I know nothing about science. I, I've tried to read about what a fourth well, dimension would Mick look West. like. Well, Mick West knows about it. Yep. But will you ever read what a fourth dimension, what things would look like if we saw them in, in four dimensions instead of three? I can't even wrap my head around like, I've tried to read it, and I cannot wrap my head around what they're saying. I gotta be honest, I don't even understand the multiverse of madness. I can't get to fourth dimension. Dude, the multiverse is such a cool place. Yeah? There's mysteries. There's mysteries of the multiverse? I hate multiverse. I hate people who talk about the multiverse. The multiverse of madness? Yes. Just asses. Ooh. What, the other, the other universe where you're not an unfuckable incel? <laughs> <laughs> Let's say what? There's like could be six to eight dimensions total. Right? I've heard eleven. Honestly, I've heard eleven. Yeah, and these are and these are physicists saying this. So there might be. I mean, if they're saying it, it probably makes what some is, kind of mathematical sense. What does Doctor Strange say? <clears throat> I never saw it. I've seen the new Spider-Man with the multiverse of madness. It feels like just a writing excuse to like yeah get bring, a bunch of spider in dead there. characters yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah. Do you see the Multiverse of Madness? The new one? Yeah. No, I didn't see it. There's only one Multiverse of Madness. That's the name of it? It's the Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. Who wrote the title? Chip? <laughs> <laughs> fucking crazy. It's crazy fucking verse. Yeah, fucking Doctor Nutty. <laughs> Doctor Strange is a douche. <laughs> Although, I'll be honest, I'm not uh, turned off by the idea of She-Hulk attorney at law. I'll watch that show. It looks fun. She-Hulk? Attorney at Law. I watched the trailer this morning. Does it look good? Let me see She-Hulk. All right. She has a, probably a great clit. Okay. I don't a a great bodybuilder clit. <laughs> they, don't, they don't go into that a in the big, trailer. green, please. stinky clit. <laughs> Let me see if I can find the red trailer. The red band trailer. I want to see She-Hulk Oh, clit. there's a red band trailer? <laughs> yeah. Uh, She-Hulk trailer. Yeah, she Hulk attorney at law. Oh God! Oh, boy, I tell you one thing. I hope she doesn't hit the gavel. You know. okay. <laughs> She's an attorney. Ah, oh, boy, cross examining pretty angrily. I bet you. Okay. <laughs> Being a superhero is a trial by fire. She Hulk stinks. Whoa! The world if not people like you. I overheard. Uh, Travis saying that Marvel bringing out a She-Hulk is woke culture run amok. I have great friends. Can we get some shots, please? It's an emergency. They're just uh, trying to get more things for girls to root for, so they watch it. I mean, She-Hulk's been around forever. Yeah. But, I mean, this is why they're making the show out of this shit character that nobody cares about. I don't know. I think they're literally trying to execute on every IP that they have. They made a stupid series about Vision. Nobody cares about Vision. Those are, like, the baseline of any woman just existing. Oh, Bruce, it feels like if I don't transform, I'm going to die. Oh, I hate the jokes. It's quippy. Yes. yes oh, yes. this stinks. No, no. I just want to be a normal, anonymous lawyer. Can you tell us where She-Hulk is? Jen, you're a story now. Girl, your ass looks crazy right now. <laughs> She-Hulk, get it. How come when she's angry, her tits don't pop out of her shirt? (laughs) That is for billionaires and narcissists and adult orphans for some reason. Uh, Awful. Is there anything more depressing than dating in your 30s? This is the best date I've had in a while. Oh, 
Should we split some fries? Let's get those to go. Nice. She's, she's much bigger than the guy, you know? I would like that. Honestly, if she threw me down and threw a giant green clit on my face. <laughs> you wouldn't mind it? No. If she, she smothered a, you a little bit? She took a tinkle that fucking blew a hole through the mattress. <laughs> 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 Stupid. This live? I don't know. Travis is just watching the Johnny Depp trial now. Oh, no, no. This is just the next video. Sorry. <laughs> well, it's yeah. live. Well, I don't think it's live live. I think it just says that in the title. I don't think they're there. No, they were showing it. They actually were showing it. I know, it. but I don't think they're there right now. Isn't it in oh. California, though? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah they, they have it live somewhere. You're not going to... I would watch... i tell you what. I would watch a lot more of this Depp Heard trial if the, one of the lawyers was the She-Hulk. Attorney at law. You don't think you're gonna watch that? No, I don't. No. It's so much with the Marvel stuff. I just don't care. And then they're gonna go like this. Well, you would have liked Avengers more if you had seen She Hulk Attorney at Large. <laughs> 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 hey, they paid a lot of money for that IP. They gotta make it back. Disney? Yeah. Oh and, and yeah, they're they're milking it. And there aren't many female superheroes that are no. like like there's but Wonder Woman is D C. Wonder Woman's D C. They got uh, the Olsen twin that hangs out with Vision. How dare you? I don't know who Vision is. Vision is Paul Bettany. He's the superhero no one's ever cared about in the I've history never of heard superheroes. Of Vision. Here's how you know that Marvel has no integrity when it comes to making films. <laughs> they go they when they, when Thanos killed everybody for fakesies and everybody was like, Oh man, what a great ending to a movie and I was like everybody was like, Oh man, what a great ending to a movie and I was like This wasn't a great ending to a movie. You know they're all coming back. He killed all the superheroes. You know they're coming back. They're not killing off all the superheroes. Right. Then people were like this. Yeah, but he killed Vision for real. I'm like, oh, yeah. Because everybody was going to the theater to watch Vision, the robot superhero played by Paul Bettany. Is that what um, Vision is, a robot superhero? He's a robot superhero. And then they gave him his own series even after they killed him off. About how one of the Olsen twins wanted to have sex with him. Right? right? What? No. Vision Quest is what it was called. <laughs> it seems terrible. She didn't want to have sex with him in that series? Oh, yeah, she did. So? That's what, you know. <laughs> WandaVision. Oh, okay. You know. I've heard of it. They did WandaVision. What other Marvel X-Men series have they did? <laughs> they did Moon Knight. Moon Knight? What is Moon Knight? Moon Knight never... is with Oscar Isaac. He's dreamy. Is that a Marvel thing? Yeah, yeah. It's not a Star Wars thing. No. Why is Oscar Isaac in it? He's Moon a Star Wars. Well, he, could, he could do more than one character. <laughs> He's Star Wars. Moon Knight. <laughs> what the? Moon Knight? They really are. They're trying to get a series out of every superhero that's ever existed uh, in comic book form. They did Loki? That's right. People love the Loki show. Uh, yes. They did, right? I think yeah, so. Yeah, I didn't yeah. watch it, but yeah. they, I think so. They did. Um, I was too busy watching 90 Day in Wrestling, the good stuff. Honestly, I'm caught up. I'm not yet. No, it's no, not no. good. No. It's a little no, boring. You, you're it starting to lose faith? It's really boring. Oh, no. It, it's hard to follow the last one, too. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like whoever you date after Amber Heard is going to be a fucking, a, a bit of a tedious bore compared to how f crazy and fun she was. Yeah. That's what this is like after Mike and fucking Jimena. They even extended that. It was so nuts. Mike and Jimena is incredible. Yeah. Before the 90 Days is... It'd Probably be, the it, only thing you can watch now. Yeah, because they just, it, they are always going to be worse because A, the American is so uncomfortable in this foreign place and their relationship is such a primitive thing compared yeah. to where it becomes. Although this guy from Cameroon is turning out to be a little more irritating than I suspected. Ja Rule? Uh, yes, Ja Rule. It's murder. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yep. He's the one who hadn't seen his son. They were apart for all yeah. that time. Yeah. What about the guy that looks like Chris Brown? You know, oh, who were Shifty Shell Shock? Shifty Shell Shock, yeah. Like, they're all just so, like, not even likable, but just so, like, there. Yeah. Milk like, toast. <laughs> milk Very toast. milk uh, toast. Yeah. It's like, oh, here's some couples. But they might also, I also feel like they're saving. I also feels. I also, <laughs> also <laughs> feels. I feels. <laughs> I feels. <laughs> you know, they might be saving the train wrecks for super shows now. The way they, like, before the 90 days was 100% train wrecks, they might go, like, well, look, we could squeeze one train wreck into this show, yeah. or we could save it and put it into, like, 
like what that last season was, where it becomes a phenomenon, you know? No, because I don't think they want to lose people. I don't think they want to lose people on a boring season. Um, I'll tell you what. This the, might be just one to get the ladies back. This season's boring. The guy's mother uh, is, seems like a little annoying. The guy, uh, the guy, the guy uh, Jerry or whatever from... Uh, South Dakota? Yeah. The, I mean, I'm watching it. There's the Muslim couple. I mean, who, even when after the first episode when they show that extended trailer of like this year on before on 90 day like there's not nothing much. looks there's, interesting there should be more meat on this bone yeah. yeah there should be more reasons that i'm gonna stay tuned in yeah i'll watch it just because it's I watch there it. i'm loyal yeah like, i'm loyal to the franchise I'm, I'm still they are good storytellers so <laughs> it's so funny i'm like it's too much with marvel it's ridiculous <laughs> nobody cares and i'm like watching every 90 day spinoff and you're like yeah, i'll watch two hours of 90 day a week yeah absolutely sure. wow well, yeah just because i'm loyal to the <laughs> to the franchise oh we got some important calls coming in i mean i don't we could just go ah, yeah no, we should <laughs> we should brace through the calls real quick <laughs> all right Craig in Arizona? Hey, it's Craig. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys. I, I always listen on the app, so I don't ever get a chance to call in. But So sorry if I'm interrupting, but goddamn, dude, that Aaron Burr, um, Doug Bell special was one of the funniest things, uh, most cringe things that I've seen in a long time. And, Jim, I honestly Thank don't you. know how you made it through that hour um, with a straight face. That was the most ridiculous thing, funniest thing I've seen in a long time, well, man. So thank you very much. Yeah, it's on Aaron's YouTube on Berg's base. You know the way I do it is I just get inside that character and I just think. Um, by the way, I was correct about uh, the trial. Thank you all very much for nothing. Mike it's in, not North. in Los Angeles. You mean even though? But I was. I we asked were, if it was in Los Angeles. You did it. You told it first of all. You were don't definitive. ask us. I was absolutely. Type not it definitive. in. Yes, check. You it. got a Google machine. Thank you. And second of all, you are the person we ask, not the person who asks us. Yes. yes. I'm the one who knocks. Yes. Yes. We're terrible producer. I yes. said, "Isn't it in Los Angeles?" And then you said, the, "I think so." Right. You, you see the way it. he's phrasing it. Yeah, you should have checked it. Is, but he didn't say. Isn't it in Los Angeles? Go, can we go to live footage of that right now? Because I want to know if that video, if that YouTube video is live or not. He yeah, went like this. Is. Isn't it in Los Angeles? Yeah. That's how he said go it. Go to Daily Mail live. Or just go to live. There you go. This is live. I, I said it was live. Everybody so where's crazy. Oh. What? Where is it then? Virginia. This guy. Oh. Hi, Mike. Really? Mike in North Carolina. Thank God for you. Hey. Yeah, I know, right? Fucking misinformation. Oh, oh he's full. You oh, know what? We should use me for not caring about the Johnny Depp Amber Heard trial. I mean, honestly, as the producer of the show, you should care. Yes, and your caring is not relevant when a question is raised. Yeah, we should ban you for misinformation. Yeah, I'll gladly switch places to try it. Don't put me over here. <laughs> You're in for a rude awakening. It's terrible, except for the wine in the face. That's the only good thing that's happened in 90 Day. Yeah. That was my misinformation objection. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> Can you believe the way? Thank you very much, Mike. God Travis. bless that you. That was my fault. And that I'm, was for Travis. And I'm not going to suffer for it. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to take the brunt. Yeah, of it. I apologize. No, unfortunately, there'll be no brunt on this one. And I'm very disappointed in myself for not firing it earlier. Can you believe the way he asks? He answers so matter of factly. It's like, he, you know what the problem with Travis is? I never would have guessed it's in Virginia. Why you didn't have Virginia? to guess. You, could have you don't have to guess. And this Why would lying. you guess? And I said it was lies. The only reason it even came up was because I didn't stop YouTube in time. Everybody <laughs> thought I was crazy. The only reason this flaw was exposed because of your other flaw. You're yeah. a flawed right. okay, that's producer. A good point. All right. yeah, why that's would good it be point. in Virginia? Yeah, why is it in Virginia? Look it up! Stop asking! Uh, I, I, can, I can guess. Give it a goop! The Washington Post's <laughs> yep. office may there be in go. Virginia? Yep. There you go. Why don't you find out? No. No. <laughs> good. Yeah. Good. You showed him. Thank you, Troy. <laughs> Fuck we got, you. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. You know what he showed yeah. me? What? That he actually does suck at his job. Yeah. I knew it. <laughs> you want to know? Figure it out yourself. <laughs> we got to take a break because uh, Quinny is coming. You know what? I. I can't. I'm sorry. The tension is bothering me. You know what? what? It's not a shock. Travis is acting like an asshole. Other assholes in the room are going to pipe up. That's Sam, right. why don't you do one too? Rebel. No. Let's hear you fart. <laughs> First of all, I'm not a puppet, okay? I'm yeah. not Pinocchio. On string. You don't have me on your string, man. All right, if he's going to be here in five minutes, let's break. I got uh, Jim Thorpe coming up June 3rd, Wilmington June 4th, and then uh, Point Pleasant June 10, 11. And also, every Wednesday in June, I'm at the Fat Black Pussycat, as well as next Monday and Wednesday. I'm subbing for Colin next Monday. Yeah, you are. Fat Black. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, you need. <laughs> we'll be back with CQ. Stay right there. 
If laughter is the best medicine, we have a full dose for you after the break. Jim and Sam, back after this. Jim Norton and Sam Roberts. Right now. Through the Milky Way, in my spaceship, at the speed of light, I'm gonna make it. <laughs> Welcome back. I know you Jim Norton and Sam Roberts. And we are blessed. We're blessed to be in the presence of our guest. That's right. The magnificent creator of the last best hope on tour now. Ladies and gentlemen, Colin Quinn is Quinn. here. Quinn. Oh, bell starts that early now. <laughs> that works. Bell even brings in. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Bell pops Thanks, in guys. every now and then. Yeah, I know. Welcome, know Colin. Now. By the way, uh, just to give the fans an update, and I'm sure I speak for Troy, Travis, and Jim, is that Sam during the break was sniffling and snotting into a rag. So they might have <laughs> COVID again. Remember when Jim gave everybody COVID? I do. He well, came in. Happen, now you're giving it to us. I don't have COVID. Shut I, up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't need the real medical update. Oh, no, he's going to be like, I have a cold. <laughs> he's going around. <laughs> Now you just made me Purell. I was outside all day on Sunday because my daughter had her birthday party oh. and the allergies have kicked in and it's taken me two or three days to run them through. I'm not built for the outdoors. No, I know. Well, it's like me. We like to have those nice treats all the time. By the way, I was glad to see you, you guys are in your corporate best. I see you dolled up because <laughs> Roland is in town. Yeah. <laughs> the big the big well, wheels from LA are yeah, in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, you, 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 you're, uh, you're, you're reaping. In the benefits of Ricky Gervais being in on Monday, because we're convinced that Roland flew across the country just so he could oh, walk Ricky yes. Gervais he to did. the studio. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Hey, if, if you need me. If, if, yeah. And Gene Fukud, if you need me. I know. That was a big, that was a big blockbuster show with Bobby and Voss and Ricky Gervais. Yeah, that was a fun one. And I know you two dummies afterwards were probably like, that was good radio. It's like, oh, shut up. <laughs> we did. We, I will be on. We did yeah. give each other a good congratulatory pat on the yeah. way just in the bathroom. Just kind of a nod. Man, yeah. that's the way it should be, that's man. That's the way it should be. Imagine that. Every day, and then you're like, not just because he's famous, but friends. Ugh. <laughs> well, we'd say the same thing about you. Oh, big deal. Yeah, except for the famous part. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, that's because he's moderately famous. The only thing about me, which I'll give credit to myself once again, since I have to, sure, is that my fame has been dwindling for so many years, but it's still a little bit there. Yeah, you gotta give yeah. It, to me. it is. It's I'll a slow be, uh, dwindle. Yes. Yeah. It's not a. It's not a monetary fame. But it's still, people know who I am. You know? Well, every yep. now and then, you're good at, like, just as it's about to peter out entirely, you're good at just giving one little blast to it. You yeah. know what I mean? Well, like, just something to shoot you back. Yeah. Well, and then I mean, it dwindles I've again. got 50 of them, but it's, you, you're right. See, here's, Sam, here's, the, here's the reason I want to put you in a rear naked chokehold right now. <laughs> because somehow... You're acting like it's my problem that the fame dwindles and that I just make this little comeback. Like, I'm sitting lazily this entire time yeah. instead of working like crazy. I don't get the scar. Oh, it makes me furious. Yeah. Do you work, you work a lot? Yeah, I work all the time. I have many projects, like Cop Show, for example, that just won't get picked up for whatever reason. Have you uh. written any that didn't get picked up? <laughs> All right, let's get back to business. Roland is in town. Yes. yes to gravel for Ricky, <laughs> to walk him in. I don't know why he's out there. Uh, Harry Styles is in the building. Harry's in the building, I know. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he's definitely here for Harry Styles. Even why? He's not, he's, not, he's not his guy. We like Roland loves a brush with fame. Yeah. Yes, he does. You know, he loves to be able to say hello, and then he'll come in later, and he'll go like, you didn't say Harry Styles this morning. <laughs> Harry's yeah. a big one. He's a big one. And guess I mean, what? I guess, but just I know, to say I'm hello. I'm impressed. And, that Harry Styles is yeah. I saw the whole the whole lobby's filled up with people and sitting in the waiting area. I guess he's gonna sing. And usually there's nobody around anymore. You know, yeah, it's like yeah. COVID. Well, we have a New better York guess. Classic. You do have a better guess than Harry. Yeah, that's yeah. right. I'm better than Harry. He's not giving anything. It's not funny what he's talking about he's right now. Funny. He might be funny. Who knows? Not funny know. like you though, Colin. Hello. <laughs> Why don't you introduce him to uh, Ozzy, Ozzy and Harry? Ozzy and Harry. Oh, Ozzy oh. and Harry. That's a reality show. I don't even like him. Because they're both English and they both are, they, they both represent what it, music, what it is. That's right. There's hard metal. Yeah. Yes. And Harry. Yeah. Right. Right. And they both resonated with the kids at different eras. That's right. Yeah. You know, true. Ozzy's still a pussy machine. 
You think so? Hey, 74. <laughs> they still soak it. The minute he walks I, in the room, they all get wet. Well, they, but well, who are they? They're, you know, rather... You it's know, not true. I mean, it's a lot of Jim Nortons a getting lot wet beaten, out there. A lot of brutally beaten older ladies that are... Yeah. Uh, I'm telling you, there's a lot of... Grandmothers that... Yeah, no, not a lot of grandmothers young... Grandmothers that have tattoos from, oh. like, like, Yosemite <laughs> Sam tattoos. <laughs> Before, before anybody had tattoos, they had tattoos. Yeah. I like that, like, with your teen idols, like, yeah. you need to this day to compliment their sexual prowess. Absolutely. Like, Gene Simmons is still you ever see the Gene guy. Simmons fuck? It's a, it's, a, it's a thing of beauty. I did see it. It was kind of, uh, yeah, yeah. not eventful. Underwhelming. It, yeah. yeah. I disagree. You thought he was good? I, I, it was incredible. I thought he was phoning that one in when no, I saw it. Maybe he was, but that's just more of more, more a more hat nod. To him. Yeah, 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 the God of Thunder. He didn't have to impress her. You think he was giving her the thrill of a lifetime? Chewing gum. Go ahead, climb on. Yeah. <laughs> climb on to the demon's it's dick, right because you, you can just see that Jim was sitting there watching this going, yep, someday, maybe. And then he got there, and he's like, oh, it's not really like that. It's, you know, you're still yourself, you know? Right, yeah. You, there's still weird like idol worship for thunder. the same people. Yeah. Yeah. Look at yeah. his pants are still on. He's, he's got to go out for sound check. He's the best. Holy Christ. He's the best. <laughs> Look at him. Oh. Look at the way. Yeah. Oh my God! Oh, Look at is... that. She's her fucking. He's, her legs are up in the air. She can't stop. Well, it's very it's easy. Common move if somebody's having sex with you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Look at those. I like Look it. Look at those animalistic I like thrusts. I feel like she's trying to avoid kissing him. I think that that's probably He's right. He's kissing her, and look, she's like, oh, God, please. Oh, so gross. Do your thing. But Why? This does have more of a... This isn't quite a porn as much as it is when you're, like, yeah. at the zoo, and a couple of the animals are having <laughs> sex with each other. And you you think to... she doesn't want to kiss? No, look at her. She keeps... Oh, yeah, she's her. giving him the cheek. You know why she's afraid she'll fall in love? <laughs> <laughs> well, that tongue, yeah, maybe that's... Yeah. Funny. Oh, yeah. The long tongue. Oh, yeah. Yeah, look at him plowing her fucking... He's knocking her pussy into the bed. Is know. he? Good for Gene. Yes, he is. He seems like he's playing it kind of gentle and mellow. Yeah, maybe, because he's too big. He's probably too hung. Yeah. <laughs> you think, you think that's what it is? Absolutely. He's being sensitive to the fact that he knows that he's he looks extremely like, well hung. He looks like Andre the Giant right there. Yeah, he does. Yeah, that's his dick. <laughs> Look Powerful. <at> him. <laughs> yeah, those are, uh, those are some thrusts, all right. Yep. Good for him. He's got a little shoes on. Sucking her tits. Yeah. That long tongue. Still got his yeah. pants on. He's he does. busy. He does still have his pants that. on. Yeah. That makes me so angry. Take Why? Take off your fucking pants. No, I love Get that a guy just look at that giant prick for fucking taking up the whole camera. Look at that. Winnie the Pooh right there with the t-shirt. All right, let's get back to business. All right, yeah, we can't this stop. This is ridiculous. It's like so just... a walk down memory lane. First of all, I come in. Right. So Roland Welcome has to the a... show. Welcome, Colin. <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> Roland is a top assistant with him. Now he's got like a, a sidekick. That's yeah, Paul. That's Paul. Paul. Yeah. And then Paul goes, would you like tea, Mr. Quinn? And I was like, first of all, this is what bothers me. It's not you guys. It's every every place. Why for, Why don't we have, if it's a morning show, mm -hmm. we should have a fun breakfast every morning. That's a great point. What did you guys give Ricky Gervais when he said you didn't even have a basket for him, did you? And he we didn't like, have a basket. No, we probably should have a little fun basket for a guest. Yes, God damn right, but not stale shit. No, no. new stuff. He, we probably gave him a cup of Remember, hot water. A couple of times, <laughs> a couple of times, we had uh, uh, Krispy Kreme. But then Jim was complaining because we liked them plain. No, but yeah, I because we got them the way you're supposed to get them. Yeah. But more the for you, no, but it's OCD. The same every donut, the same flavor. That's you, not OCD. Yes, that's, that's, a special, that's a special. That's a special thing. There's a bunch of donuts. You have to sit the plain. Should we get some Krispy Kreme? Do you understand how well, for Quinny, Kreme? does Quinny want a Krispy Kreme? CQ? I, don't know. I haven't even eaten breakfast yet, to be honest. Krispy Kreme is the breakfast. I'm gonna have egg whites later because I'm, no. I'm not on the heart medicine too. I don't like oh, I don't like the fact that doctors were researchers and medical people worked for probably forty years to identify OCD. Yeah, and then this idiot just randomly uses it for our, for our Krispy Kreme. Habit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That you go and you get the audacity. You go into a spot use, and go like, "I'd like your specialty, please." And Jim's yeah. like, "Oh yeah, that's OCT." No, it's <laughs> not. <laughs> it's if, if, if you're only getting, they're like, specialty. "We've discovered it's called oh, uh, <laughs> obsessive compulsive disorder." But there's twelve. And ten of them. years later, this guy just throws it away <laughs> for a couple of Krispy Kreme. Breakfasts. No, because it's the same one for every a whole box of them. It's not wrong to get a couple, but when every one when they have many good flavors, it's very charitable. It's not wrong to get a couple. Of those. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <I> yes. <laughs> I mean, I have to. I'm be not a... unwilling to move. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, but you've got to move too. <laughs> yeah, I, I would say a couple of those would have been fine. Four, maybe a six, but I mean, the other six, you got to mix it up a little. You bring to mind King Solomon for the Old Testament. But you're uh, you're kind of disgusted at the lack of 
show business, the lack of presentation. Yeah, it's we not, have nothing I wish to offer. it was just a show. It's every place I've ever been. Right. Every morning show, except, of course, Martha Stewart. I guarantee she did uh, it right. The best. The best. Oh, uh, we I was should. on Martha Stewart a couple of times. She had it all set. Oh, my God. The assistants come in. Today we have this, this. They describe it for you, what they have. Then they bring it in. This is a uh, giant fruit, food, everything. It's the best. And you remember. you. Clean. What's oh. that? <laughs> giant fruit. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that sounds good. I mean, we should have something like that. Because we, you remember the show. Yeah, you're sitting you there. Wanna, you know what I mean? Yeah. You look like you lost weight. You guys have just... Uh, shh. You, um, you, look, you look skinnier. Quiet. Um, <laughs> Am I wrong? No, I wanted to focus on... A uh, oh, Martha Stewart? Breakfast. No. Breakfast. Oh, no. What do you want no. to what do you want focus on? What are you trying to... I wanted to, to focus on... Tough crowd? The fa- <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen how all the podcasts that are coming out? Have you ever thought about doing Tough Crowd as a podcast? You know, that's interesting. <laughs> what I was going to say is, because you guys have this, you know, at your at your beck and call, you have this endless supply of young, hilarious comedians mm-hmm. that are just happy to delude themselves that this show is going to sell them one ticket. <laughs> you don't have to have breakfast. But for the old veteranos, yeah, right, me, right. Ricky... Bob and Voss? Bob and Voss. Yeah. But, uh, to yeah. an extent. Yeah. To an extent. Uh, yeah. We want some treats. I think that that's fair. I think I, we I should have treats. I think that's treats. unreasonable. Ian Finance actually wrote a new ska song for you guys, <laughs> and he hasn't gotten a goddamn crawler his entire time. <laughs> yeah, we should have some. Uh, we, and we, we also should have given out a little basket of Jim and Sam. You know, I still drink out of my fucking, uh, oh. my mugs from uh, Tough Crowd. Yeah. Other sh- my, that I still have. I still have my fucking. We should have Jim and Sam mugs. Yeah. You know, a lot of this falls on Travis. I oh, think, yeah, you know. I think so too. Can you imagine that's the EP? You know, like Gelman but he or looks, Travis. No, but he seems like an EP. Seems. I feel like you guys. Yeah. Uh, I feel like you yes. guys reinforce any kind of negative energy. So then he's like, ah, oh, screw it. That's how they think. That you, is, that You're putting is, this back on us. Yep. Yeah. Literally, before you got here, it comes from the top. Before you got it comes here, from the top. <laughs> Yeah, yes. Jim goes. Jim goes. It's learned. Jim goes. Is the Johnny Depp trial live right now? Travis goes. I mean, it's happening in L.A., isn't it? I did it? not say that. And yeah. then, and then, I said, "Isn't it?" In and LA? we're watching and then, it live. And by then, the when way. a caller calls in, he goes, "The trial's in Virginia." Travis goes, "I never would have guessed." You I don't have to guess. guess. Why would you guess? You're the, You're the producer, producer of the show. You have a computer yeah, you have in front a computer. of you. We Why would you guess? Like... <laughs> well, in the 1970s, <laughs> you had to guess. <laughs> Troy knows yeah. it's, it's an honest mistake. Yeah, thank you, Troy. <laughs> and then they back each other up. They do. Well, because we're the only ones that see it the right way. I mean, Colin, <laughs> I don't I mean to get you nervous, but sometimes I think the inmates are running the asylum around here. <laughs> it really is crazy. That's why Roland flew in. It wasn't for Ricky Gervais and Harry Styles. No, it was for sabotage. Yeah. <laughs> do you think it... Do you think Some it, mugs would be good. Mugs, mugs would be good. Yeah. Mugs, mugs would be good. Do you think it, it should bother... Uh, Roland, that he's, uh, or about the Harry Styles, actually, mm-hmm. that there's going to be a man looking at him that <laughs> vaguely resembles the guy that killed the girl from My Sister Sam. <laughs> I don't know who that is. <laughs> he was the guy in the 80s. What's his name? <laughs> his name might even be Roland. It's not Roland, but it's something like that. You know what I'm talking about? I'm assuming he looks like Dom DeLuise. <laughs> I don't <No>. know. <laughs> it's the guy that stalked, the stalker that killed uh, that poor girl. In L- there he is. But look at his picture when he... <laughs> I know exactly who that is. Yeah. Did he kill the actress? Yes. He was out there and shot her in her yes. house? Oh, yes. Okay. So I remember that. See, his head shaved. <laughs> see if this one with his head shaved. Is he dead or alive? Oh, no. Go down a little bit. It was right there. One more. One more. One more. Right there on the right. Oh, yeah. That's in shape Roland. <laughs> yeah. That's what Harry Styles is going to be staring, staring yeah. at his hotel yeah. suite one day. Mouth agape. <laughs> yeah. That's <laughs> Mumbling to himself about One Direction. <laughs> yeah, Jim and Sam mug. Jim and Sam mug. What else? A little, a, a little, little fruit basket. platter. A little fruit platter and a gift basket. Or a little gift basket we can store. So because fruit you can't store at the end every day. But maybe we plan a fruit basket for special guests. And then you keep a, and then you keep a list of who gets what. You get one the first time you come in. Like you know, you don't give Bob Kelly one every time he comes in. No, like Derek Jeter, you're saying. Kind of, yeah. yeah. You give him, you know, the same guest. To, that was that was the move of all time. That's the move of all. You moves. Gave it the second ones. And to her credit, she goes, he gave this to me before. <laughs> you know uh, that Derek Jeter song? Yeah. She already had a gift basket. Oh, the best. <laughs> that she called it out instead of being like, I'm not going to say anything. She's yeah. like, yeah. 
I don't need two. <laughs> right. Yeah, I think that would be great if we gave a little gift basket. But again, you, you keep a list. Bobby gets one for us. Colin, of course. Yeah. But wait, this gift basket idea. You, you, what's in the gift basket? You can't Last week you had a stout. I, I, a Jim a and Sam mug. Because I do drink out of my Rich Eisen mug. What about I have this? my Joe Rogan Experience mug. What Ooh. do we think of those like uh, water bottles? Right, like the the metal, you know, oh, people yeah. love water bottles. Yeah, but those water bottles are... are no annoying. one uses them, they smell. Everybody uses them now. Yeah, they, it's they a very anti-plastic world. Oh. Everybody uses water bottles, and I'll He's bet right. people would go like this. You know, I've been meaning to get off the plastic. This is perfect. Yeah, no, Jim and Sam water bottle is, is trying to mug. Right. Get yeah. a couple of beverage mug and, Yeah, absolutely. A t-shirt, maybe? A good shirt, though. Like a soft, good shirt. It'd be Not great a- if it was all liquid containers. Like a, a mug. Yeah. A water bottle, a drinking glass. And it comes in a bucket. A, sh- yeah. <laughs> a catheter. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, think I, don't know, I don't know if we need to do t-shirts. That's you, a little... I, uh, this is a little a little bit... Cl- one step above t-shirts. Yeah. A little classier. I mean, oh, t-shirts yeah. are fun to have, but... Yeah, but... But first of all, they're all 70s ideas, as we're pointing out. Sure, you know? yeah. What Letterman used to do on the commercials, they didn't really have these products, but they'd always have like a fun new way of saying Letterman. You should steal all those and do them as Jim and Sam's. Like they came up with all those early ideas where you're like, oh, a coaster. I know coasters are you know popular now. Yeah, yeah. coasters are big right now. Yeah, and uh, you're right. This phone case would be nice to, well, to give away. Oh. Yeah, but you got to. It's got to be the right phone. The right case. phone it's case. Gotta, yeah, you can't little... just, yeah, you can't be giving out like you know, Chris Stefano and those get Mark. No, they can't just get phone cases. Right. There has to be a little more. The people that are veterans. So it has have, to be veterans and A-listers. A-listers get them too. Well, what about who, the kids in the hall? Other than Ricky Gervais, who's really an A-lister? That's you a know? good point. No, really, you don't really. give any to like people like kids in the hall that just passing through and they never be back. Gotcha. I don't know. I know about you guys that. had a blast with them. They were great. Listen to me. I do know about that. <laughs> this is my concept. I'm sitting here, basically coming up with this. So don't yeah. be telling us you know about. Something. I think they should all get one. Everybody no, because the get publicist too many will be people. happy. No, the publicist will be happy, and you get the publicist one. And they'll go, "All right, I kind of like the show. This stands out a little bit." I mean, yeah, but uh, we've been hearing about these publicists forever. They never bring anybody back. No. The only you know what I mean. They, the it doesn't only work. publicist that no would recognize you guys is Laney. <laughs> <laughs> she's the only one you can rely on. That's yeah, true. Yeah, she is the best. Yeah, she is. That's true. Yeah, so the veterans, Ricky Gervais. Yeah. We probably only need five or six of these things. So wait, <laughs> we got to get a, a, a water bottle, a cup. No, you have to give it to those young guys. I was kidding. Of course yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. I say every guest gets it. What every else? guest? Yes, every guest. That's fair. Yeah, well, yeah, you do have to have it for every guest. You can't yep. just leave guests out because people and a, get pissed. And a shirt. People like a T-shirt, even though it's an old idea. But it's too is, expensive. We got to get different sizes. We end up with T-shirts. It's too it's expensive. It's an XL. No, you get like uh, ribbed, like the old ones they used to have, like the in the seventies, like ribbed short for the for the girls. They used to have, oh. like they were like those uh, rib ones. Uh, you know, it almost looks corduroy. Yeah, spaghetti straps. That's the look. Even for the- My girlfriend had a Frampton Comes Alive one. She looked fantastic in it. Yeah. She had a Roger Daltrey one. Get Karen Feehan yeah. rocking one of those. Yeah. 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 By the way, Karen put a picture of her ass on Instagram today. Yeah. Oh, what, what you it's just standing ovation worthy. Yeah. Wow. wow. Good for her. Well, yeah. she's selling OnlyFans subscriptions, right? Yeah, she she's sure is. Very she well. is funny. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> she's very funny. Yeah, she's, she's hilarious. She's, she also has a great rump on Instagram. <laughs> both. Both can be true. Both can be true. True. Yeah. And I will be honest that her... Uh, yeah, they said picture that went up today. Oof. Oh, my goodness. Is. Yeah. Oh, my goodness gracious. That's nice. Mama Mia. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you said it, Kyle. <laughs> where's that Where's that taken? At the stand? Is that what they do over there? <laughs> that place is wild. Oh. I think that was taken at, uh, what's it called? Joe Rosie. Joe Rosie's. Joe uh, Joey Rosie's. Joe, Joey Rose's. Joey Rose's. <laughs> yes. I'm so glad I couldn't think of the name of it. <laughs> Have you been down there? <laughs> that made me happy. I haven't been down there yet. Yeah. We had a couple of them. Uh, he didn't bring them in here, but I had Chip had a couple. They were very good. I heard that great. Chip, Chip got sandwiches. We did, Maybe if we gave mugs, we'd get sandwiches. I heard they're really great. Yeah. Although I have to say, Joe pissed me off because, you know, me and Joe, I love Joe, but we're not like the best of friends. You know? Sure, sure. And then, Why would you be? right before he opened, he goes, hey, well, I'm going to have people coming down and guest bartending. If you want to do that. He wanted you to guest bar. Yeah, what a lousy idea to say yeah, yes to. to say yes to me. You know, it's like, hey, you know what I mean? I mean, that's anyway, insulting. That's not why I'm... <laughs> that's like, <laughs> yeah. God, hey, you me. know, Kyle, I know it's not exactly the... It's not as big as it used to be. If you want to be a guest yeah, bartender. Yeah, guest bartender. Yeah. But, um, 
Well, it was insulting because I think the rest of the guest bonders was like, you know, his usual crew of guys. You know what I mean? Right. And the you, homeless him, pimp. Mike Feeney. <laughs> homeless pimp. Yeah. You know, I shouldn't meet guest bartenders. You feel no, like you should so. be held in higher regard. I think I should be the celebrity. If you're going to be the guest bartender for the opening, that's yeah. one thing. But don't just throw me in with a bunch of your No, writers. we got Brendan Sagalow Tuesday, Colin Wednesday. <laughs> yeah. I understand. You object. Yeah, you're the guy who shows up and they're yeah. like, oh, can we just take your picture with the sign? I can't believe you're here. Well, that would have been better. You know? Yeah. But I did hear the bread is really good in those sandwiches. And the bread's it is. Also important. Bread's the hottest part. Yeah. That right. sandwich looks you, good. Wait, well, bakes it fresh every day. Yeah, I may have to pop down there. Yeah. Uh, I should make a day of it. Yeah, that would be nice. I like the I ham. I mean, I don't know if you need to make a whole day I like of ham it. and turkey. <laughs> Here's what I want. Ham, turkey, on that bread with lettuce, onions, oil, and vinegar. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. And salt and pepper. No, no salt, no tomato? I don't like tomatoes. Lettuce? Yeah, he said lettuce. Do they do yeah. special orders? I don't think so. No. I don't I think they do, do special orders. It's be part of the get... hard eight. What? Yeah. You have to order off the menu. And he told us in here, I said, why don't you do a nice BLT? And he said he doesn't want to sell sandwiches that other people sell. Really weird. Oh, God. What is he trying to be distinctive? What yes. An idiot. Yes. That's annoying. Yeah, you got you to gotta get <laughs> off the menu. I know. I can just see his, him looking and then walking out going, I think I really made my stand. Shut up, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> you'll make our sandwiches and you'll like it. Yeah, yeah. I agree with that. Special order. You ever heard special orders don't upset us? That was a very popular company. What was it? Yeah, special orders don't upset us. That was one of the... Uh, oh. Is that Burger, Burger King? King? <laughs> Have it your way. Have it your way. Have special it your way. Special orders you know, don't upset us. us. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I was just singing the song to myself. <laughs> Sam, <laughs> Sam, is it true you've still never eaten a vegetable after all these years? I mean, I've had a vegetable yes. here and there, but I do certainly still indulge in BK every now and then. That's great. It's the best. I like a good BK vegetable. BK burgers are good. Their fries aren't as good. That's a great point. Yeah, but their onion rings are great. <laughs> <laughs> their onion rings are great. <laughs> onion rings so are fantastic. Yeah, yeah. We used yeah. to get stoned in high school and then go to Burger King over at Cropsey Avenue. And I would sit there, <laughs> stoned, and just eat Burger King and be like, this is the greatest. Yeah. And, and you were right. It yeah. was the greatest. When you're really younger, was. the feel of that plastic tray going down on that table. Oh, yeah, that plastic oh, tray oh. ruled. Oh. McDonald's, Burger King plastic trays. And in oh. those days, people were so stoned. I mean, in the mid-70s, everybody, the teachers, my, one of my teachers came to me once. He, lived, he moved to my neighborhood and he goes, hey man, where can I get weed? Because he knew I smoked a lot of weed. It's my teacher in high school. It's like, where can I get weed? And I said, you go here, here, here. And he goes, thank you. And it wasn't even like a thing. I wasn't like, hey, my teacher wants to know where to get weed. Uh-oh. 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 What? Uh-oh. By the way, <laughs> for those of you fans that don't want to know about the true change, and this is what happens to everybody in Hollywood, not just Roland, the phonies. He's wearing a new Beverly Cinema shirt. Uh, have you been there? And if you of understand course, what's up? <laughs> the fury I feel right now. What's the new Beverly Cinema? Um, that's Quentin Tarantino's theater. Oh. <laughs> Only the people it's where all the, the cinephiles go. Yeah. Yeah. Roland's the over there. Yeah. Yeah. They yeah. talk yeah. about they put it. They, they do everything on film. Yeah, oh, they show it all on film. Yes. And old movies. Yeah. Like they showed like a Tarantino's old movies. I I've never Kill been Bill. invited there. I mean, it's well, a, you wouldn't have to be invited. It's a public place. Oh, you can buy it. So can go. <laughs> but, but, but they do have private parties too. Free. <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't know about that. You know about. That's where I got t-shirts from. Oh, my oh, goodness. You, you, you think I'm going to pay? Yeah. You know, and I guarantee if we Google Harry Styles, somewhere it says he's also something of a cinephile. <laughs> and then he's yeah. is hoping, yeah. is hoping, he goes, hey, brother, do you go to the new Beverly <laughs> Cinema too? Yeah. I do my Harry Styles dance. He'll be like, yeah, you know, Godard, I understand you're a big uh, uh, influence a lot of your videos by Jean-Luc. Uh, is that true, Harry? Well, uh, actually, Roland, yes. Yeah. Yeah, you can always tell like somebody who's in the business because they wear a T-shirt of their favorite movie theater. <laughs> yeah. It looks like there's some good fucking. Uh, it's the move, though. That's some, the yeah, move. It, it starts like the conversation. Abbott and Costello meet Frankenstein. There's yeah. some very interesting movies being shown. Yeah. No, they do really cool stuff there. Yeah, like the pieces. Little, I'm looking at the lineup. I'm starting to get nauseated by this lineup already. Why? Why? It's good stuff. Because instead of it, no, because they're tr yes, because they're being like. Ironic and uh, Conan the Barbarian's old no, stuff. Oh, they're being the like, original Spider Man, Jim. Yeah. Yes, I thought it was going to be like, yeah. Oh, and, that's Jim Spider Man. That's right. Oh, oh on the big Spider Man screen. stinks. <laughs> he stinks <laughs> on, on like film. Stinks. That's right. Uh, yeah, we were just commenting, Roland, that uh, we we were theorizing oh. on why you had traveled uh, across the country. And we came up with, uh, it was to walk Ricky Gervais to the studio and to hopefully have a brush with greatness with Harry Styles. 
Well, you're um, two for three. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and today we have a, have a Judd Apatow event later on tonight. Oh. oh. Wow, what's the event? I got He's doing an unmask with uh, ah. Ron Betty Chen. Yeah. And then I had a bunch of meetings, so it worked out. I haven't been here. That's a very work. L.A. thing to say. Bunch I, of meetings. Come to New York. I have a bunch of meetings. And you know, Judd just... probably goes to New Beverly Cinema too, just like Roland. That's so exactly definitely. a great point. You know, that we're going to show a forty-year-old yeah. virgin there. It'd be a fun thing, topic. <laughs> yeah, that was last month's show. Oh, <laughs> yeah. And by so the way, Harry Styles, you came for? No, well, the, I did, we just came from meetings and a bunch of stuff. So I haven't been here since the pandemic. What meetings? There's no one here. Most no. of his meetings are with Paul. I think he'll do all of them on Zoom. What? You do Zoom. <laughs> um, what? Jim, um, like they say here, it's about face-to-face the energy. The, yeah. I mean, that's true. Yeah, Synergy, energy. Yeah. Energy. Hey, Roland, where's that, where's that lovely young boy assistant of yours? I need him to get me some shit now. Uh, games are over. <laughs> and by the way, at 11 o'clock, I have important meetings. I already talked to Roland about it. We have a straight You yeah, do? Okay. Yeah. I have important phone calls after this. Oh, oh, radio yeah. radio I shows. I can't even leave. Uh, and I yeah. came here for calling too. One's at eleven, so it's really we got to end on time. So okay. certain right. markets you have to now. call yeah. in. So you're not you don't eat till after you. Uh, yeah, I, I usually. Where do you go? I'll go home and eat uh, egg whites or whatever. Oh, you're really or saving I'll, money. Or I'll go to the gym. <laughs> I'll go to the gym and then before I'll go home and eat. you uh, not, eat, I eat after. Oh, That's not a, good. It's not the move. No, it's not. It's not the move. Why you not? need the energy. Oh, yeah. You know, you, you got to get the calories in, right. get the energy up right before you get to the gym, get a pump on. You know what I'm talking about, CQ. Yeah. And then. But they say that if you work, if you eat after you work out, you're still, yeah. It's, it's metabolism. Good. It's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eat before and after. But you got to get your energy oh. up. You can't go to the gym exhausted. No. Right? Yeah. No. Um, also, I saw a Top Gun 2 Maverick in Los Angeles. I know, you texted me. I know, it was, was it? I didn't um, ask. He texted awesome. me, too. I know, he was texting. So good. I saw Top the Gun The first too. one wasn't even good. It was so good. <laughs> <laughs> Tom Cruise, and, the, the, and then there's a special surprise. Is Al Kimmer going to be there? I don't know. Yes, he is. Well, okay, no. you just spoiled it. Why would you... I mean, I don't care, but it's just there's a whole yeah, audience. Yeah, wreck it? I bet there's a lot of people who wanted to say see that we stupid don't know. movie. We don't know. <laughs> yes, he is. Yeah. Yeah, yes, he is. No, we don't know. Well, yeah, we do. Roland just no, told us. No. Yeah. Let's yeah, but I thought all, honestly, I have to say, I thought Officer and Gentleman is better than Top Gun 2. I agree. Officer and Gentleman had a whole thing. The best was at the end, when the other girl, the whole thing fell apart. Paulette, her great she's tits. still happy for, <laughs> for her. She goes, get him, Paul. Yeah, remember? Yeah, it was good when he carries her out. And the other one's like, all right. She wasn't a hater. She's like, I'm a team player. She yeah. was sexy, too. Oh, she was great. She was fucking sexy. She was a bombshell. Yeah. 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 You ever see Officer and a Gentleman? Yeah, but there's no play scenes where Tom goes. Well, do, no, do, that's do, true. Do, do, but it's do, cool do, when they go in the do, pool. Do. Remember? That's right. Uh, Dave, that's, that was David Caruso. Yes. Oh, yeah. That's right. You and loved it, Maverick. You love Maverick. Can't, can't, can't get enough. Yeah. Or well, Luke yeah, Gossett no, it Jr. Great. It was great. Yeah. It was Did okay. you see the second one? Top Gun Two. Top no. Gun Two Maverick. No, but I heard oh, uh, it was amazing. It's douchey. Oh, they t- I saw an IMAX, though. So that's the key. I feel like Iron that's Eagle, Eagle yeah, kind of took a place Iron at Eagle Top Gun. So? Yeah. Iron Eagle stunk. Iron uh, Eagle was good. Luke it was not good. With Jason Chappie Gendrick. Sinclair, it was fucking awful. Yeah. Jason Gendrick. <laughs> it was a horrendous and, and movie. Chappie didn't make it either. Ooh. Yeah, it was a bad movie. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know what was on yesterday? Flashdance. I didn't realize Flashdance had it all, really. She Not only was she Iron Worker, so it was sort of like uh, after the Deer Hunter. That was the next... Big shoot in the Pittsburgh area yeah. <laughs> for iron workers and steel workers. I didn't realize just, that. I love that you put that together watching yeah. that. Like, what a time for Pittsburgh. Yes. Yeah. They're like, hey, we did that to the movie, the Academy Award. Was this next one? She's a stripper, but she's also, she doesn't get nude, but she's a stripper, but she's also a ballet star. Oh, and wow. She, and an iron worker. And there's a big scene. She goes to confession. It's a, there's a lot going on in that. Is that movie. Jennifer Gray? Yeah. No, Jennifer Beals. Beals. Yeah. yeah. You knew that one? Of course. Nailed it. Of course. It was in the back of my cereal box. She was on the back of your cereal no, box? No, movie questions. What cereal were you eating? I don't know. I had like New Beverly pebbles. Cinema Crunchies. <laughs> yeah, that's, that know. was a made up thing that he just yeah. said. I didn't think it was cereal. That's not know. true. It wasn't cereal. You just read it somewhere. It's probably the trades. Well, he's probably right. right. <laughs> the trades. I, I, I was eating cereal a lot, though, so. What yeah. cereal are you eating right now? I, uh, f- f- I'm Cocoa Pebbles. So. Nice. Sometimes Fruity oh. Pebbles, I switch it up. I don't oh. like Fruity Pebbles. It has a weird you. taste, but I like Cocoa Pebbles. Gotta get chocolate milk at the end. Little surprise. Ah, you, you suck it right down, right out of the bowl. 
Look at me. Of yeah. course. <laughs> I wouldn't yeah. call it a surprise, though. Everyone yeah. knows it's going to be chocolatey. Oh, yeah. <laughs> as much as a surprise as Tom Cruise we in Val Kilmer, which you ruined that one, too. Yeah, that's spoiled. Yeah. Yeah. Chocolate top. You're a surprise ruiner. Yeah. Shirtless scenes? Uh, yeah, there's, there is a BC. Good. And he probably brings back the same girlfriend from the first one. Oh, that's right. <laughs> no. No. Kelly? No. Yeah. I call it Kelly. You do? Yeah. yeah. What? How great was that scene in Witness? Remember yeah. in those days? That's how innocent time used to be before the internet and porn. We'd see like, whoa. Yeah. I can't believe it. That scene yeah. in Witness. It was so hot. Or yeah. ja- what's her name? Uh, Jamie Lee Curtis's tits in Trading Places. The best. That was a big thing. When a big fucking yeah. teardrop and, uh, tits. Fast Times, the best of all time. Oh. Yeah. Mr. Skin was able to create an entire yeah. multi-million dollar business out of nude I scenes. I never enjoyed those. Why? A Mr. Skin call in. And we yeah. got a pair of boobs. <laughs> oh, I know. That was corny. <laughs> but you would go to the site to see all those. Honestly, her tits are fantastic, Jamie Lee Curtis. Wow, the whole thing is just Google she, image now. Yeah, it, you don't need Mr. I Skin. I know, it's crazy. What a world, huh? <laughs> yeah. I don't know if we're better or worse off for it. That's a great uh, point. I never thought of Whatever it happened to way. the imagination? Oh, uh, Jim. Let me just say what, <laughs> what bothers me about the new Beverly Cinema lineup that I just saw is because all those movies are like Chucky and all these other things. I thought it was going to be like Art House. But apparently those days are over. Yeah. Well, Tarantino enjoys that kind of stuff. It's though. Roland and his friends getting high and laughing ironically. Who, Paul? What's that? Just Roland and Paul? Roland and all his crew just sitting there. <laughs> yeah, with ices. All his they cinema friends. Edibles. Yes, exactly. Eating edibles and then just laughing at, like, Chucky scenes. Oh, it's like the watching ironically. They're not actually yes. appreciating the art, the work. Yeah. And as an artist. Yeah. You don't like to see that culture be stripped away. Well, no. I get that. Yeah, yeah. I'd rather see that. I, I wouldn't mind that. What? Mix it, mix it up a little bit. I don't mind a little art house fun. <laughs> art house fun? <laughs> I mean, I like horror movies, so I like that they're showing yeah, all these too. old horror movies. But I like that's when my they're thing. scary, not when they're not scary. What's the scary one? What, yeah, what's your? What's the scariest horror movie you the ever seen? The Stepfather, the original Stepfather. That's a great one. I never that saw was, that. That was a good one. Yeah, that has, uh, what's his name from Lost in it? John Locke from Lost is the uh, stepfather. Terry O'Quinn. Terry O'Quinn is the oh, stepfather. Oh, he's good. Oh, yeah, I've never he seen is. it. Okay. The, it's he's based on sociopath. John List. John List. Not yes, John from List. New Jersey. Yeah. From New Jersey. Remember? It's based on him. Yeah. Yeah. He's really good. good. He's a good man. That was a scary one. Yeah, that was a good one. That was really good. But I wonder if you watched it now, cold. I watched it about a year ago. But you knew it. I'm saying, like, if you watch it for the first time, you'd probably be like, I've never this seen is dumb. it. I'll watch it. I don't think so. But maybe you're right. But yeah. I don't think so. Um, yeah, I it's only... good because he's like a real family man. Yes. Remember the whole movie? He's like, I just see a new people here. He gets all emotional. He like wants to be a family, but his family's always disappoint him, and then they got to go. Yeah. And the real John List, the guy that killed his family, he killed them because the kids it was the early seventies. So his daughter and son were like getting into pot or sex or just trying to be normal teenagers, and he felt very disappointed by that. He was a strict Christian, right? And he's like, these kids are getting into this wild new world. And so the only choice I have is to get, and he killed the whole family and moved and started a new family. But the reality is, it did stop him from smoking pot. <laughs> yeah, well, okay. We got to take lessons where they are. I mean, yeah, you take the positives. Yeah, yeah I agree. Yeah, no, Stepfather's great. That's I'll say it. Stepfather's great. Yeah. That I think they scary. remade it. They made it, but again, it was terrible. Yeah, yeah, no, the original's the one. Yeah. And they made like three sequels or something yeah. like that. They made oh, a ton I know, of them. You're right. yeah. How they funny destroyed. would it be if you made it? Colin O'Quinn. <laughs> oh. Halloween, the original Halloween was great. It yep. was good, yep. It was great. Yeah. Just, before they even got there, it took, took like a half hour before they got to Achilles. Yeah. Did you ever see uh, Halloween H2O? No. That's 20 years later where they're now uh, filming a reality show. I think it's H2O. Appropriately called this because they watered it down. <laughs> <laughs> Nailed it, Jim. Oh. That's the biting. That wasn't Jim. That observational. Was, that was dim. Half Doug <laughs> Bell, half Jim. <laughs> yeah, I think it was H two O. Yeah, there he is. He's good. Yeah, he's awesome. Where they combined it, they had uh, uh, there was a reality show shooting in the old Michael Myers house. Oh. And Busta Rhymes was in it, and they called it Dangertainment. Yeah, oh. really good stuff. Yeah, and then Michael Myers comes in. Well, thank you. Who's that, DeStefano? No. <laughs> Young Paul. Michael Myers That's, comes and disrupts the taping of the, the show. The virile young assistant. Well, I still say we should have. Uh, I should have. I shouldn't have stopped Sam. Why don't you was, let them steep? 
Why do you take your tea bags out? Let the tea no, bags. They, there's two tea bags in. So leave them it's in there. It's dark enough. Look at it. But here's I should have let Sam. Sam was hinting that we were going to get Krispy Kremes. And I just kind of was like changing the subject. You did. You could have had Krispy Kremes. Yes, you are. You could have had them. It's already. It's, it's late now. Boring, dry, chewy bar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's too late. Probably too now. late. Is it too late to get a Krispy? You know what? Yeah, we can go get Krispy Kremes. It's close by. Yeah. Roland, you're a foodie. Yeah. Krispy Kreme. Only if it's hot. And what do you get? What type of donut? If it's hot, I'll just shove it in my hole. <laughs> yes. yes. You put it in your ass. Yes. <laughs> it's coming out no, there anyway. No, he means, means <laughs> have to work. What flavor donut? Just, oh, whatever. Yeah, yeah thank we, you, Roland. We, we, thank we, you. We just warm. This is a, is a fraud. He's a fraud. Wait, what's the Roland, best? What's, what's the, the best? Best close donuts. Um, I, mean, I like the pure pan donuts from Greenpoint, but... I mean, Krispy Kreme, when they're That's warm. That's close. Greenpoint. Yeah, let's yeah. just zip over to Greenpoint. Yes. I don't yes. But Krispy Kreme, they're delicious, but they're nice and warm. Well, with the glaze. Glaze. A glaze. A nice glaze. Stop saying that. We know. Yeah. Glaze. A nice glaze. glaze. A nice glaze. Yeah, but that's, if you yeah. had 12, you wouldn't glaze. only get glaze. You mix it up. Well, I would eat six of them, though. Yeah. Six? Nice glaze. <laughs> you put them up your Roll ass. Roll <laughs> So what's a good donut place that Quinny can get a donut? Queen. Krispy Kreme. Yeah, Krispy Kreme. We can go get them right now. Is that close? Let's right down to St. Paul. St. Paul. Let's do it. Sent Paul to get the donuts. I thought there was a, cl- a farther one. See, Travis, oh, the producer, was like, yeah. And you guys say he doesn't do his job. He hey. just goes, go. Well, it's an hour after you mentioned it. Travis just wants a donut. <laughs> yeah, but Travis. Yeah, he wants a donut. That's Honestly, exactly like, I'm Travis, trying to get mine. Travis could have heard our conversation, you know, kind of peter out. And been proactive. But still act on it. And yeah, but then, I don't want to get Colin something that he doesn't want. Like, maybe he's trying to watch his figure. I don't know. And he could have said wanna, no. I don't want to tempt him. Let me watch it for you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, let's let's get. Some but then, donuts. but then, right now, the donuts would have just come in, and we've been like, now that's <laughs> yeah, that's how you produce when is, a show. When has anyone ever Stefano to get those donuts? Yeah, that's yeah. <laughs> when has anyone ever yelled at an executive producer for bringing in donuts? It's never when has happened. Ever been a fireable offense in the history of the business? Ever. It's never happened. Ever. All right, let's get some Krispy Kreme. <laughs> yeah, good choice. I'm gonna talk to Stefano. Yeah, you should. It's five <laughs> of ten. <laughs> yeah, Jim's just mad because he's going to ruin his diet. Tips. No, I'm not going to have any. I oh, just want to. You'll smell them though, right? I don't care. Give him a sniff. Ooh, yeah. You going to have one, Roland? You going to help yourself? I'm on vacation, bro. Yeah. Help yourself. <laughs> yeah, you treat yourself. When in Rome. When in Rome, yeah. So how's LA, how's LA treating you? How's the scene treating you? Yeah. Nice. When I, in I Rome, like it there. He looks like Nero, too. <laughs> 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 yeah. no, I love it. It's, it's nice. It's, the weather is nice. It's relaxed. Where are you living? I live in Los Feliz. Oh, I lived there when I shot Lucky Louie. I was off, not Western, whatever the, the main drag in Los Feliz yeah, is. Yeah, it's, it's nice there. You have Trader Joe's. You have everything there. Great food. Did you eat at that? What's that place? Something Trader 60, Joe's in Westchester. Fred, uh, what's it called? Fred, Fred Siegel? Not Fred Siegel, no, it's a, it's a clothing store. It's just called a restaurant. restaurant Fred Siegel, too? Yeah, yeah, no, but this is called Fred or something on... He didn't know that. No, no, I mean, he didn't know that. I haven't had that yet, no. Okay. It's, it's like a great place for tuna melts. Yeah. And by, the way, <laughs> by the way, the big street is Western. It is, but that's not where I lived. I might have lived on Los Angeles Boulevard. Yeah. Ooh. 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 Silver have, uh, Lake? Ooh. No, but I was near Silver Lake. Franklin? <laughs> I don't know Franklin. Man. I enjoyed Los Feliz, though. Yeah, it's, it's beautiful there. It's, well, there's always nice. The, the Netflix festival happened there. It was a lot of fun. Yeah. I mean, these are all no, things it didn't. that. I was at the Netflix festival. It was in the heart of shitty Hollywood. <laughs> I, I, I had a good time. I saw uh, that Chappelle wasn't Los and everybody. Feliz. Yeah, this sounds no, no, like no. somebody who does not live in Los yeah. Angeles. Here's, here were his well, observations. The weather's always nice, yes. and the Netflix festival yeah. was there. Yeah. Yeah. These well, are all very well, known. Be, well, because yeah. I, uh, I'm lift pink, so I just hopped on lifts everywhere. Oh, all right. So I, oh. I don't drive. So I feel you like a celebrity. Like, Ooh, you should be lift just, Lenny. Not lift Lenny. <laughs> <laughs> lift Larry. Well, it's good that you drop Lift off. Lester. But I thought everybody in L.A. drives. You don't have a car out there? A lot of people don't. A lot of them use uh, Lyft Nowadays, yeah. Is no, that right? Who no, needs yeah. it right with all these darn ride share apps? Yeah. Hey, Jim. <laughs> Jim. You're about to God's ears. Jim, and what about the gas prices? OMG, let's not talk about that. <laughs> ah, <laughs> good point. What about let's the fact that this homeless... Er, oh, LA, yeah. it's in gone. Beverly Hills, it's really bad. It, what's that? Some parts of Beverly Hills are everywhere. Down by the, uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. All over the city now, it's homeless. Yeah, homeless everywhere. I couldn't believe it when I was there. We, we drove around, and I, I could not believe what yeah. L.A. has turned into. It's yeah. yeah, I had a fun like, what are we, in New York, huh? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Good point. Well, San Francisco is the worst. Sandy Franny's bad. Yeah, and then, <laughs> yeah Seattle and Portland and then L.A. Yeah. yeah. I had a good dinner with uh, John D. Brand Muffins. Oh, you did? Yeah. Yeah, he's a good dinner companion. Oh, yeah, he is. He knows so many people so much about he everything. He knows everything. He's one of those guys. 
Big it's, bulge. It's plugged in. Yeah. Oh, yes. yeah. We went to Koreatown. Amazing Korean barbecue. I don't like Korean barbecue because it stinks your clothes up. I I, I never oh, enjoy yeah, Korean no, barbecue. That's not the barbecue. That's the uh, whatever kimchi. Kimchi, yeah. Or the smoke, whatever it is. Something. Oh, oh come on. I'm just saying. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, I, I do. Yeah. I really do. Who knew Jim gave a damn about the smell of clothes? What I the hell you care? I do. I don't like. I like my you clothes. Go to the fucking Met Gala. No. <laughs> you want to sell it, dirt bag. I, I don't like uh, the, uh, the Metropolitan. I did see a great picture of all you guys hanging out at the cellar uh, oh, just last night. Last last night. night. It seemed like a party. Who did I see? I saw. I saw. Colin Quinn, I saw Jim Norton, and then I saw Keith Robinson, uh, Amy Schumer, Rachel? Rachel Feinstein. Yeah. Yeah, but you know, that was, I got there late to the. I, I, was said, I said this to myself. Imagine the jokes at that table. Well, I got there for the last four minutes, and then Amy decides, oh, I'm leaving. It's like, oh, really? Because I just got here? The fun was so just about and, to start. Her and Rachel left. You guys had a good time together. Though. I was only there for 10 minutes before you oh, got there. Oh, okay. I yeah, had just I walked in. I had just walked in. I said hello. I put my jacket down. I went back. I sat. I chatted. You oh. did? Yeah. Good for you. And then it what? And then it was down to Colin, Jim, and Keith. What is this? Tough crowd? Yeah, believe me, the jokes were flying. <laughs> what is this, tough crowd? Amy's coming on the show tomorrow. She's Which show? Me. Your show. Oh, good news. No, I had no idea. Great. Roland? Travis told no me. No idea. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise. Is, that's what I'm here for. Ta-da. <laughs> when are you going back? Um, I leave Friday morning. Do you miss it? Or are you good here? Um, Why Friday? Why don't you stay and then go back on Friday afternoon or Saturday? Um, flights were selling down. It, it's, it was a weird time. Like with plane, I tried to get a Saturday ticket sold out. So. Oh, sold out. Did you get turbulence coming in? Oh, yeah. What? You did? With the yeah. turbulence. I was in the bathroom when it yeah, happened. Yeah, I know. Who I cares? pissed everywhere. <laughs> it was bad? Yeah. It's, yeah. I was there wiping down. Like, sorry. It's sorry. like listening <laughs> to a fucking insurance salesman questions. <laughs> I, like, I like turbulence questions. I know. That's what I'm saying. But I'm saying that's the kind of thing we don't. You don't want to know? No, no they, it's never led to anything interesting. We don't want to. Li- we don't listen to top radio executives for that. This is like a, it's like a 1950s query. <laughs> <laughs> if somebody comes up with a stupid suburban split level <laughs> shit home, how about the turbulence? <laughs> I'd like to know. I, I've been a little nervous lately. Yeah. I think I have control about issues. What? Turbulence. He doesn't do all well with turbulence anymore. When turbulence you know, comes on, and it used to bother you, it used to not bother you. I, I, I was, only, I was terrified, and then I just got used to it because I was flying so much. And then, like, like he's post pandemic, he's, he's out. terrified again. You know what he started doing? What? He puts his headphones in. Oh. He listens to Rhinestone Cowboy on repeat, and he does a little dance in his chair to try to like, for, I, make himself I move forget. With Rhinestone the, Cowboy. That's one of the songs, not the only one. Oh, he's sorry. alive by Johnny Cash. There's a few. Yeah. yeah. Oh, well, country music. Redemption Day. Yeah. Yeah. Why did you do that when you go to the MRI then? Um, I because a you can't have your own headphones in there because Uh-oh. they're made of. They they're, play music for you. Though. I know, but it was too low. The fucking machine is loud, and there was a little bit of. You should have had what I had. What's that? What? <laughs> That's not like they play Doug Bell when he's in the MRI. <laughs> yeah. uh, hey. I made them play James Taylor. See, I didn't oh. know that was an option. Oh. And then I was and like, James oh. Taylor stinks. No, he doesn't. He's got a good he voice, does. but he's boring. Fire and rain, and then you've got a friend. I feel more. Uh, I think I'd feel more trapped in the MRI if James Taylor. Was I would too. One droning song after the next, it would make it longer. Oh, Sucks. You guys are ridiculous. You yes. say about any Should band once you listen to them, I could mock you. No, you mix it up though. You have to have different. I had a playlist. Ozzy that was doesn't amazing. have fucking acoustic solo songs. He plays. I mean, sure, he does. Like fucking a changes a piano song. Lovely number. Love changes. That's true. But um, I would... Mama, uh, I'm coming home? Exactly. Mama, Jim was trying not to remember those days. <laughs> oh, I like that one. This is great song. Oh, yeah, this great is song. like... Yeah, Fucking but you, masterpiece. Yeah. Yes, it is. Great I song. would kind of hope that the MRI was going to cave in on me. This is good. Didn't say yeah. that. Yeah, it's very nice. You're like, ah. Yeah, but they had to play it loud. I did. I was actually on the phone with them asking about sending a playlist of songs. I'm going to mix That's it up. That's what they did. It, they mixed it up. It wasn't all James Taylor. Oh. It started with James Taylor. I said, say James Taylor, then Spotify, whatever. Did you, oh, do the Pandora radio yeah. thing, the James Taylor Did you Taylor make it louder, station? though? Did you make it loud? Like, uh, it's oh, true. I made it as loud as is possible. <laughs> Yeah. I've been to a few it's MRIs. A good song. I MRIs a lot. I don't need a sec. I thought I needed one, but my doctor got most of what he said. He goes, we actually got what we needed from it. Oh, good. And you're fine. You ever do an MRI, Roland? Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's like a, going up a butthole. <clears throat> going up a butthole? Yeah. You don't, like it's a oh, yeah. Yeah. How long are your MRIs? Mine There's was like 25 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
I mean, hold on to that. I feel like every time he gets confused, he just says whatever you asked him. Yeah, I like to put that in my, in my butt. butt. <laughs> yeah, that okay. probably got him out of a beating when he was a little kid. Yeah. <laughs> hey, where's the remote? I put it in my butt. Exactly. They're like, oh, my little buddy. Yeah. My little pobrecito. <laughs> you know? It is cool, though. It is cool, though. <laughs> yeah. I promise I won't tell. <laughs> it was the scourge of Tucson. Where were you from? Yeah, um, my mom. Uh, <laughs> Scourge <California>. of Tucson. <laughs> Where? California. My, my mom's family's from Texas, and we moved to California. Oh, Texas. Right. Where in Texas? Uh, Dallas. Oh, yeah, I don't know. That. Do you grow up there? Mm, one one year. Oh. Then we moved to California. Okay. But you spent most of the pandemic in Arizona, right? Every yeah. Living yeah. with the parents. Well, it was, it was with the Arizona, rats. there was no pandemic. Everything was yellow. Everything was open. Right. No one cares. Yeah. Was it? Yeah. Oh yeah, it's Trump land. And lots of space out there too. Space. It yeah. was lower. Lower. The economy was lower. I mean, why do I keep hearing this? Rates? Kids. Kids are getting COVID. I was wildly yeah. seeing that on the news. I'll tell you one about the, the the humidity out there is very low. Yeah. Hey. Oh, it's great. I was out there. It's the best. Arizona's cool. It's like 110. You don't even feel it. Yeah. The, the wow. Look at this beautiful color. He's got it from L.A. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I Attractive like- women too in in Arizona. Oh yeah, gorgeous. Very well, prone. now we're, we're the guys are even gorgeous. Everybody's beautiful in Arizona. Yeah. L.A. everybody's running. I see them in the running outfits, running to running Canyon. You been oh, working right. out? That's what? You been working out? I've been trying, you know. Yeah. What does that mean? It's been bad. But they <laughs> run <laughs> I'm going to the pandemic wave. <laughs> Watch yeah. a walk. Yeah, walk a little bit. I mean, I make myself do it. Yeah, I try to walk. In. It's easier to walk here than L.A. L.A., you start walking. Like, where, where am I where going? Where am I going? No, you yeah. have to go to yeah. the canyon. Yeah, you, you got to go hiking. Yeah. 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 yeah I went to the streets and got there. lost. I knew this kid went out there in 1986 and started walking just on Sunset Boulevard. Guys pull over the car, just kick the shit out of him. He didn't do anything. They got out of their car to kick the shit yes, out of him? Yes, because walking is so unnatural there. They're just like, oh, there's somebody. Let's kick, you know, just. <laughs> they finally saw somebody. Yeah, and they were like, fuck it, let's kick his ass. You know, like they yeah. cursed him out. He just gave him the finger back, and then he said, kick his ass, you know. Wow. You can't walk around L.A. It's weird. No, I guess you got to go where, up into the. Except up in Los Feliz, where I was, by Hollywood Boulevard Ooh. and Vine. The heart oh. of Los Feliz with a Netflix festival. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hollywood <laughs> Vine. That's not Los Feliz. It's fucking Hollywood. I know. I mean, yeah, I but it's of, all walking there. It's all homeless and just psychotic. Yeah, they, they're really, they're worse. They're crazier over there. Yeah. Travis, who are you on the phone with? My wife. Oh, okay. Who? My wife. Nice. <laughs> no personal calls during work, please. That's a great point. Sorry. <laughs> Do you get the donuts? Uh... Our, our young Paul is going to get Oh, them. cool. Yeah, I was, Step it up. I was going to see uh, Dave yes. Chappelle at the Hollywood Bowl. I was going to buy a hamburger that cost $33. Oh, my gosh. Jesus. I mean, I remember. I was like, whoa. That's, that's crazy. Uh, yeah. Shove it up my ass. That's a <laughs> that's say, hey. I mean, what do you get with that burger? Do you get the show? <laughs> nah. nah. Come on. Come on, Jim. <laughs> Meanwhile, what does Chappelle get from those burgers? He probably gets like 18 bucks out of that. Probably. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he was good. Oh, way to take way to go out on a limb there. <laughs> yeah. Did you uh were you there for the attack? Before. No. I was oh, there two shows before. Oh mm. you did three shows before. Four. Four, Four shows. Hollywood Bowl shows. Oh my god. Oh. Yeah. And some Mulaney. Holy Toledo. What's that? How much I saw John Mulaney. He was he was so good? Good. Yeah, he's great. Yeah. I by the way, your your stuff last night I I I watched some of your homeless stuff last night it was so funny. Oh thank you. Oh, was that funny? By the way, the homeless uh I told you did I talk about the rat? I was on the train, I got over West Fourth Street. Giant rat right in the middle of that tunnel when you never was yeah. you. Just a giant rat blocking the entire way. It was blocking like in the middle. That's of, like, how big it six was. Six at night. Ugh. No, but it was just like standing there, like looking at everybody, like fuck you. Were you people know? walking towards it? Yeah, where everybody's like, ah! <laughs> and I started stomping. This other guy started stomping, and finally he just walked. Away. He didn't even like stomp. Usually a rat runs. The rat just walked away, like oh fuck you. you know? But he wow. wasn't. Uh, nobody just walked up on it. Like just kept walking. We were all, I mean, we all almost stopped. Everybody yeah. just like stopped short. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah. big yeah. rat. I've seen yeah. a lot of rats lately. This Maybe there was a non-union job going on. Yeah, <laughs> there's a lot of rats in New York more than more than there were before the pandemic. I feel like you think so? They yeah. they had well, they got some a foothold. Yeah, yeah, they got foothold. And don't forget all the people eating outside. I know, but there was no food, so people weren't around the city. I don't know. No, but they are eating outside. You're right. Eating outside, throwing their shit on the ground, feeding the rats. They're having babies. Oh, psychotic, disgusting. I haven't seen a rat in a little while, honestly. You know where you don't see rats? Got to look in the mirror. In the best Chester. Westchester. Westchester, the best Chester. Well, now that you said New Rochelle, I'm no longer referring to you as being from Westchester because I know New Rochelle very well. I mean, that's where I grew up. And it's not Westchester. 
It's not. It's, it's the Bronx. You know. It's, you know. I mean, it's close to the Bronx. It's Bronx adjacent. Yeah. yeah, but I mean, once you get into northern New Rochelle, is no. It's it's just like it's the Bronx. That's all it is. Are you saying it's not the nice Westchester? I mean, I, nice you know, you know where else I've lived. There's no blonde people that live in West in Scarsdale. Oh yeah, Scarsdale's nice. Okay, so you know, I'm a county boy. Yeah, I'm all over the place. Yeah, well, it's two places, but there's like 18. A Marinac, Larchmont. Yeah. You know, Eastchester, Yorktown Heights. <laughs> this is my guy over here, huh? <laughs> Westchester. <laughs> I love Westchester. Terrytown. Terrytown. Have you played the Terrytown Music Hall? Yeah, I, I have. have. The it's best. a great. Yeah, you played there on uh, New, Year's New Year's. I was I there love for that. The Terrytown Music. It's great. It's great. You know, yeah. I saw. Shot I, Constitution there. I saw. Uh, yeah. I saw Rob Bartlett perform there, oh. and you know who was in the audience? Dick Cavett. Oh my God! Yes, I love Dick yes. Cavett. Yes. Dick Cavett's great. Yeah. He is. Whoa! Whoa. Wow. Hey. Two yeah. dozen. Two dozen donuts. My goodness! Oh, my God! Nice. I'll just smell them. Wow. Who think, Who needs a mug, huh? I'll tell you the truth. Well, that's a good idea. Why don't we have Paul can if he can get into like a craft place and make fake don't Krispy Kreme donuts with everyone's name on it. The guests. That's a great idea, yeah, Paul. Can you handle that? <laughs> Okay, Jim's opening the box. Whoa! Just going in for the smell. They smell so good. They do? I'm, what's that? Are they hot? Oh, bring them here. The light was yeah, on? yeah, yeah, yeah. No, bring let them cool. I don't like them hot. Yell them cool off. No! Oh. no. <laughs> yeah. Look at them all. Look at those. Yeah. Hey, let's... Like 24 of the same fucking donut. Ooh, I like it. I like Roland took his gum out. He's like, I'm serious. <laughs> There's oh, 24 God. hot donuts? Mm. Thanks, guys. I mean, 24 oh, of the oh, same flavor? Oh, come on, the Jim. They They're so oh, yeah. soft. This is what you get at Krispy Kreme. Uh -huh. No, you can mix this it up. This is Krispy Kreme. Mm. Ah. I'll admit once in a while the jelly oh, is Oh, my nice. God. The jelly is, mm. is lovely. Oh, my God. It's melting in my mouth. Oh, God. The, the grease is like lubricant. <laughs> <laughs> once again. Not Astro Guy, though. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's for other things. What the hell's going on? What? Mm. Wow, it is good. Uh, Jim McClure oh says that he my. bought Roland's dinner at the bowl. This he the bought Roland's dinner. Yeah. Oh no! Yeah, I love Jim. He <laughs> bought. No, I wouldn't pay for it. He did. <laughs> Thank you, Jim. I he also paid for the donuts today too. Did he? Uh, Jim uh, McClure. Ah, they're he melting will. in your yeah. mouth. Yeah. They're melting in your mouth. Ah. Jim McClure was a lot of fun at the Netflix festival. He was. Yeah. Yeah, he was best. Was he drunk? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. In LA, you did have water and some iced tea. <sighs> Wow. I mean, this is the best. Wow. Oh, they're so warm. What a treat. I don't like them warm. You gotta let them cool off. Room temperature. <laughs> That's right. ridiculous. If, if you had milk, forget about it. Oh, my. Hey, you Crush. said it. I don't like milk. It makes me clogged up. makes me my too. fucking mouth dry. You just spit on You're your shirt. You're not a fun guy. Yeah, you just spit on your shirt. Lactose rollers. intolerant. I, yes. I, I'm mm. still drinking. I drool everywhere. In you just spit oh, stuff that. on your shirt. <laughs> yeah. Are you, you drool. having a second one? No, I fell asleep. This I donut is unbelievable. Oh, God. Mm. Roll another one? A like, masterpiece. Um, I have two. I have three. Have a second. I can. Have one. All See right. how I get it's things? They're hot. It's your show. They're hot. Have a second one. Paul, offer a donut. Yay! There you go. Uh, have a donut. Have a second one. Have a donut. A little nourishment never hurt anybody. There you go. Mike, you have oh, a Down the hatch. Mike, have a donut. Mike. Come on. You've got to... There's, there's a lot of peer pressure. Don't Mike, you? have a donut. I mean, this hot. thing... They're, they're hot. hot. They're hot. I'll, have a, I'll have a hot dog. Have. Whoa. Help, help Mike help over there. Yeah, just do an extra ass squeeze. Troy, you having one? Oh, I had one. How ass was it? squeeze. <laughs> hey, Paul, have you ever met Uncle Paul? <laughs> yeah, he bet he has. <laughs> Him and his twin brother, they used to tease me. Oh, who's who? Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's have a kissing who? contest. Who's who? <laughs> you know what? Now that we're all enjoying donuts, why don't we take a break? Yeah, Daddy has to tinkle. All Let's right. go tinkle. Colin Quinn is hanging. He is uh, uh, on tour right now with The Last Best yeah. Hope, May 31st through June 2nd. You're going to yeah. be able to see The Last Best Hope uh, at Comedy Works, in down Comedy Works downtown in Denver. Then on to Wise Guys in Salt Lake City, uh, Sag Harbor, New York, all over the place, New Hampshire, Maine. You can go to ColinQuinn.com to find out when The Last Best Hope hope is coming to your town so much easier now and i can tell you i've i've seen a lot of the material uh -huh. at the village underground this it's fucking it's really funny man thanks jimmy really really funny yes we'll be right back stay there hey, roll the oh. yes the rumors are true about jim and sam no not those rumors the rumors that we'll be right back after this jim and sam are back now jim and sam are back now 
Oh, yeah. Yes. Yes. Welcome back. Jim Norton and Sam Roberts here with us. <laughs> the incredible Colin Quinn. He's yes. on the Last Best Hope Tour. Coming to Denver May 31st through June 2nd, then on to Salt Lake City, all over New York, New Hampshire, Maine. Go to ColinQuinn.com and get all of the dates so that you can see the last, best, hope. Well, maybe I've you guys... i heard good things. You guys, I came up with an invention once that you guys could do that as your as your first gift basket thing. What? What's that? So if you're on your phone, it's the sun is out, right? Yeah. It kind of ruins the phone screen. Horrible. You can't yeah. even see it. Horrible. It, this is like almost like an awning. Right. It's attached to your phone. just pulls out. Okay. And so you put it around. It's like a three-sided awning. You put it here, and then you just have your phone. It's almost like you're in a... Like it almost attaches to your face? Like a private theater. Almost like a right. photography uh, thing from the early right. 1800s. Now, is there anything that you could add to it to make it so that you don't look like such an asshole? Yeah, you put Jim and Sam show on oh, one of the Yes, on one of the I like oh. a, a little phone awnings. Oh, a little phone awning. Yeah, I like that. It's great. That's pretty good. It should be adju- adjustable yeah. position-wise, too. Sure. Because the sun does shift. Yeah, yeah. And you Maybe you can trapped. angle it a little bit, maybe a little hinge. No, but I mean, you're, it's covering here, so you, when the sun shifts, there's no effect oh. on it. That's true. I think it's a brilliant idea. Thank a giant you. awning. What should be made of? Plastic? Cloth? Um, it's like a black... No, it's not really plastic. It's almost like what umbrellas are made of. Like a nylon. Yeah. With a with a with a with a <clears throat> piping, yes, yes, that would extend. So yeah. if you guys are interested in that, that's an idea I've came up with. It's a yeah. great idea. I think, it's, I think it's. A, we need to. We need to get a is factory. It, is that? it patent pending? Yes, that's it. <laughs> we need a factory. Yeah, this is what they would ask you in Shark Tank. If serious, and do you yes. do you own the patent on that? And then Mister Wonderful would be the asshole. He'd go like this. So let's say me and my friends want to start a business making that exact product. What's to stop me? <laughs> and then they, and then this guy yep. who's been spending all of his life That's working right. on this thing just goes, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. No, we were first to market. We were ahead. We were the first to market. <laughs> yeah, he always does say that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and he just crushes people. Yeah. Yeah. We could get a patent, I think, after this. No. Yeah. I'm out. And for that, I'm out. Yeah, that's the only part that bothers me. If he said that, he goes, ah, I'm just busting balls. I'm in. But no, he no, says no. I'm out. He goes, I'm out, and he, and then uh, you feel like he might actually do that. It's, he might actually steal the tough. business for himself. I know it is, it is, it is pretty harsh. But I guess they're trying to show people the business world. It is a Shark Tank, <laughs> hey, hey, man. Is. I guess that's why they call it yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like Barbara Corcoran. I like her too. The reason I like her is because I don't think she's got any money. No, you're right. <laughs> she, <laughs> she doesn't ever invest. She was a waitress, right? And then she started Corcoran Realty, right? But I've never seen her invest in anything except for Cousin's Lobster. <laughs> <laughs> like, she I, always has some, like, cockamamie reason. I would always, I would always invest. wanted to be Mark Cuban and Lori as my two co-investors. I go, would you guys think about doing this together? Even though they'll probably get an attitude? No. No. But if they do, because you got Mark's got the big money. Right. and More money than anybody in the show. And then Lori's got the access to QVC. QVC. Yes. My two observations are that Barbara always has some reason not to invest. I don't think she's got any money. And poor Robert Hershevik, the Canadian guy, everybody turns him down. Oh, he goes. He goes. Yeah, I'll do it. And they go. Anybody else have any uh, oh. any other offers? Every time, uh. and he's always got that same look on his face. Like, yeah. I, I, you <laughs> know, you have an offer from a shark. You have an offer. Yeah. yeah, but does anybody else have any? Well, maybe he'll be interested in the uh, umbrella uh, thing. What do you? What else do you want to pitch? That's your only invention. That's not my only invention. It's, well, more, it's one more than you have, by the no, way. No, no, but I'm saying, what's another one? I know, but you acted like it was a very diminutive only... way to say it. I'm here helping to show. Yeah, thank that's you, what by I'm the doing. Way. And not only to help you by suggesting, unlike the usual idiots go, you should get gifts. I came up with a lovely idea. All right, you want another one? You know, laugh. Jim and Sam fingerless gloves. All right, it's not yeah, quite but, my but, idea. But, but don't you think that uh, don't you think that Big J and the bonfire would be pissed <laughs> or, or dice <laughs> that we took it from them? I feel like <laughs> Jim I feel, and Sam fingerless gloves would be funny. I feel like the bonfire would be sitting there. Uh, it would start a radio war. All right, how about those those finger things? You know, what you do to turn pages in, in the old days. Oh, so I like thinking, that. Yeah, you're thinking because the fingerless gloves didn't work. How about just the finger set? <laughs> well, how about a, 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 a Colin can survive in a pitch meeting? A yeah. Jim and Sam bookmark. Great idea. That's a great idea. Yeah, if your fans don't read. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> and who does read? I mean... Yeah, I read a Kindle. A paperweight? Exactly. A pa- <laughs> Jim and Sam paper. The oh. Jim and Sam Kindle light. A little, there's nothing better than a this, little light for your Kindle. 
What? No. It clips on. But you already have Kindle has a light. It's got a backlight. I don't like backlights. Not good. You need the one that shines natural light on it. Backlights bad for your eyes. I, mean, I just read on my iPad. Well, I feel like you're trying to take my structure of my uh, thing and then add a backlight onto it. That's not. That's true. not true. No, yeah. those ba- those lights actually are in, in existence already. He's pulling a Mister Wonderful. Is what he's doing. Yeah, that's right. All right. What about this, <laughs> Mister uh, Wonderbar? Oh, wunderbar. <laughs> wunderbar. <laughs> How about like a? Uh, do they have any ball shavers? You know what I mean, like. Like, yes. Like Manscaped? Manscaped, yes. yeah. Miss a, a Jim and Sam Manscaping camera. You know, that's actually a great idea because then we could get some money from Manscaped, too. Yeah. We could get them to make us some uh, branded product. Yeah. And we could give it to everybody, like a pube shaver. Yeah, a pube yeah. shaver from yeah. Jim and Sam. It'll be funny, like That'd a joke, nice. too, because pubes, you know. But then people would use it when they use something that oh, intimately. Yeah. It would like it would create a more intimate connection with our show. I like that idea. For yeah. our fans, how about like the... Uh, like Jim and Sam spanks, just things yeah. like that. Oh, yeah, sure. Like a girdle. Yeah, but they're not gonna wear that. <laughs> You're right. They won't. They're just yeah. happy being tubs. <laughs> well, you could have my. How about this? You get, you get Jim and Sam like old school, like brass knuckles. Ooh, for these do streets. a bunch of stuff like yeah, do like a bunch of stuff from the early days. Yeah, brass knuckles. Nunchucks. Yeah, ninja stars. Yeah, yes. I was talking to Bobby about uh, ninja stars yesterday or today. You were. Yeah, and we talk about the old school, how they used to have all yeah. these old... You know what, dude? I took ninjutsu. <laughs> <laughs> ninjutsu. Like a Jim and Sam switchblade. Yes. Yeah. The switchblades are still outlawed. Yeah, they're illegal. We have to keep... Well, I don't think... You, I, how about a comb? A Jim and Sam black comb. I like yeah, that. Like a like, switchblade comb. Yeah, you just comb yeah. your hair. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Comb your hair like Fonzie. Yeah. Yeah. Well, how about this? Like a little cane. A cane? Like a walking stick? Yeah, a walking stick. Jim and Sam. Where are you going to get that? How did I get a hoodie? Then we're not going to get it. We're going to have them made at the factory. No, I bet a hoodie is easier to make. Jim and Sam a hoodie people might wear. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know how many different sizes. The problem though, have a bunch of different sizes. I need to be in on the design because I can see you guys making some big, dumb, garish Jim and Sam thing. It has to be very small. I agree. Subtle. Jim and Sam with maybe uh, our faces on the back, like yeah, crazy setting. A couple of different colors back there. Maybe like some palm trees or something in there? Yeah, maybe yeah. running from dinosaurs. Oh, that'd be awesome. Like Land of the Lost. Yeah, like a volcano is going in the background. That's the problem is you guys are cheese balls. No, a volcano of laughter. <laughs> a volcano with ha 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 Oh, that's brilliant. Yeah. That's brilliant. And then maybe a speech bubble that says, hey, are those our jokes or something like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I'll tell you what would be good. A j- Here's what you do. This is mm-hmm. going to be a pain in the ass. Mm-hmm. But you just do it once. Jim and Sam comic book, like a small comic book. Uh, like every, when I was growing up, like a did, digest. Me and Voss used to read Fabulous Fairy Freak Brothers. There used to be a thing called Zap Comics. Yeah. Only me and Voss are old enough. You to read them. Yeah, he must... looked at the pictures. <laughs> 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 but they were the best. They were the best comics that have ever existed because they were all about like what our lives were. It was just these three dirt bags, and all they were trying to do is like get girls and like. Scam free weed, and they would rip each other off. They were just scum. <laughs> they never wanted to work. They'd quit jobs. They were just thieving, pothead, pervert, and it was so funny. Was it a strip or an actual comic book? It was a comic book it's called Zap Comics. There was a whole bunch of them, but fabulous, very freak. But but you guys do a Jim and Sam, and every day you go over the show in Jim and Sam. Oh, what if we? Made our show into a graphic novel. That's what I mean. Yeah, yeah, something like that. Yeah, that might be very funny. Yeah, or very hilarious every day. And then like the yeah the cover cover Colin Quinn invades yeah. Jim Norton and Sam Roberts. Something. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But we'd need to find an artist. Yeah, we can find one. Well, Travis can do it. Troy probably does that kind of stuff. He looks like the kind of guy that probably yeah, right. dabbled in art. Probably like his junior year in high school. He's like, you know what? I'm going to get into art. Yeah, be a tattooer, and then he just. He wasn't that good, and he was just trying to bang some girl, and it just faded away. Yeah, he lost his his attention. Yeah. His attention waned. Yes. Yeah. Just like his uh, his football career, you know, like in ninth grade, he was kind of okay, and then right. just kind of let it slide. Well, yeah, it's, it's all, he, 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 yeah. the girls always always grabbed him away from these his passions. Yes, exactly. Right. He could have been so he much more. He had passions, right? But he kept he kept chasing. And that's exactly the speech that he tale. gives to girls. He's like, yes, you know, I always had these passions. And he thinks like they're impressed. But like, he is, yeah. He's that guy that's like, he acts like he's the expert of everything because he right. spent one day doing it. Right. Is there anything worse than that quality in no. a person that's got no. something to say yeah. about that's everything? Troy. That is Troy, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> The 
Is that yeah. Freak Brothers? Yeah, the Freak Brothers. Fabulous Freak Brothers. Yeah, that's it. Is that Zap Comics? Yeah. Zap is the name brand of a bunch of comics. Oh, right. And Fabulous Fairy Freak Brothers were our favorite because they were just... They never did anything positive to anybody. They were just always robbing. They did exactly what I was doing at the time, just trying to get higher the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> it was so funny. <laughs> Let me see. Open one up. Like, can, can you look at pictures inside? That actually looks pretty good. Yeah. I've never heard of this comic. That looks like... I, no, I haven't either. Zap, me and I've Voss, One time early on with me and Voss when we knew each other, and he goes... Eat fork, fuckface, and I go. That's a line from Fabulous Furry Feet from Zap Comics. Eat goes, fork. It was just some line, random line in the comic, and I go. That's from. So we both must have looked at it and laughed at seventeen years old. Like eat fork, fuckface. Oh, oh, and then you bonded over that. Yeah, we did. That's nice. Yeah, they were black and white though. They weren't color and No, some were colored, some were black and white. I mean, there's a bunch of different Zap. Oh, okay. Yeah. You know, all those. Crumb and all those guys. Yes, yeah, 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 that's yeah. the same school of people. Okay. I don't yeah. think he was Zap Comics, but he might have been. Wow. Incredible. Incredible. Yeah. I should wow. do a comic book. We could do that. Yeah. Let's do the comic book. You could do a comic book of your whole community, all your little people that live in your head. Oh, yeah. You know, yes. Doug and Chip wow. and Paul. and yeah. That's a good idea. Yeah, yeah. 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 Every, everybody. Yeah, Edgar. Edgar. Edgar's, Edgar's a, born to be in a comic. That's a good uh, idea. Edgar's in a hospital. Yeah. He's got his, his teeth are dry. He's... <laughs> Trying to, trying to get his teeth, my teeth to be moistened. You could draw it like those really disgusting scenes of like Ren and Stimpy where you saw yes. all the pimples and everything. And then in the middle, you do, in the middle, you cut to, you know, you can cut away. It's a comedy. You do whatever you yeah. want. Yeah. You, in the middle of those things, you cut away to like another adventure of Troy in high school <laughs> and the new thing he's trying and then Travis in yeah. high school. And you just cut away to all these things. Yeah. I and love they, it. Build the whole and world. all the ads... All the advertisements are for Sam, Sam food Sam eats. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think that's great. Yeah, I find a good. comic book artist. Yeah. 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 I'll yeah. tell you who's probably a comic book artist. Chips World. Roland. He he's probably like great. Yeah, artist. he's probably real good at it. They're probably very, it's very expensive to do a comic book, though. You have to, yeah, it is. It's you expensive. Know, it would be fun, though, to see, like, Doug Bell's stories. Yeah. Told, like through his head, the way he remembers yes. them, dude. I think in I, comic form. I think they should be. I, 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 I'm going to animate a Doug Bell story, probably to the amazement of no one. But I, I want. I think one. No, deserves, I think it's the. I deserves to be animated. What you think about what story? Because like you know what would actually be a good short animated Doug Anna Bell Delvey story? One maybe. Anna what? Delvey one. I was thinking about oh. when uh, Anna Delvey from uh, you know the Netflix show. Yes, so basic. <laughs> What's that? You're so stupid. You wouldn't know. I was, oh, that girl! That, yeah, there was, yeah. Why would you know? No, the one where yeah, uh, crazy accent? where ah. Doug invents J Lo. Oh yeah, uh, Benefer. 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 Yeah. That yeah. could be good. Yeah, and then he's sorry. But wait a minute, does he have sex with J Lo? No, no, that's he the just problem. created the name Benefer. No, that's the beauty of it. Is the stories are god awful. I know, but I still want him somehow involved with people sexually. I feel like Doug's sex life. Because of the climate we live in, unfortunately, is not quite as, uh, you know what I mean? Like if Not quite Doug, as explored. Yeah, yeah. Like 15 years ago, Doug would have banged everybody. But yeah. you can't even do that now. Yeah. But Doug, Doug unfortunately, um, he, ha- he has a fetish for bigger women. Oh, he Doug does? likes bigger women? Oh. Uh, yeah. Doug's, Doug's a fucking fatty chaser. I, like I don't know that. why Jordan Peterson's talking like that. I yeah, it's not really it. nice at all. I like that. <laughs> I, love, I like a big girl. Yeah, I can see Doug being into that. I have a couple a of friends chaser. that like her. Where do you grow up? Waterbury? Into... Yeah, Waterbury, Connecticut. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Oh, it's brutal. Have you, have you done shows up there? Yeah. He's thinking it's the big girls oh, in Waterbury. Oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah. Doug <laughs> fucked everyone between 3 and 350 in Waterbury. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. He probably doesn't like the way Charles Barkley talks about the women of San no, Antonio. I don't, no, I don't know why he's doing no, that. It's body shaming. <laughs> Not cool with me. Yeah. Yeah. No, I. Uh, yeah, I think there's a lot to be explored there. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. Especially the way Doug remembers the stories, because. Some of it's questionable. Yeah, some of it might not be true. But the end of Delvey ones, it's not even up yet, but it's soon. It's good. There's a lot of new topical ones. I mean, how does he just happen to have an Anna Delvey story? He went on a date with her. It's not true. Yeah, that's not <laughs> it true. is true. No, he yeah, might yeah. have Anna Delvey. He might have. Yeah, he yeah. did. And he did. And uh, she was out and about. Yeah, she was kind of. Uh, she was kind of shitty about how much the restaurant would cost. And, oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He didn't have enough. Oh no, he was taking it to those old places that don't like. Oh. oh, is this one up already? I didn't realize it was up. I like when he. Uh, <laughs> oh God! 
spell cast. Amber Heard. Oh, it's all over your mouth. Yeah, it was a bad one. Oh, God. Yeah. John Depp? Yeah, he calls him John Depp. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Just so business, you know? Yuck. I'm telling you, I'm starting to like Amber Heard more and more. You like yeah, her? She's a, she's a fun one. Yeah. She's just like, I don't give a goddamn. <laughs> I met her once, and she was like so clean cut and friendly. Her father was there, <coughs> and they were both like so cheerful. And I was like, oh. What kind of an event was it? It was Seinfeld was doing a show in uh, Queens. I was opening. Yeah. Obviously. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it wasn't and, a uh, double headliner bill. <laughs> and then uh, her agent or somebody brought her to the show and her father. And she came back saying, she's like, oh, it was great. And she was like, this, she was very nice. Hot, positive person. And you're like, yeah, there's something like, you know, she just seemed like the normalest person in the world. Not getting all coked up and I shitting on like, people's beds. No, Johnny, I think Johnny did it to her. Really? No, I'm kidding. Oh. <laughs> I think both of them. Yeah. yeah, they're probably a dysfunctional yeah, couple. Yeah, fueling like each other. Both, <laughs> yeah. They might not be the healthiest couple. <laughs> Did she look good in person? But I, oh, she looked amazing. She looked so clean. She looked like the all-American beauty, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Would you have made love to her? Yes, I would have. <laughs> <laughs> in a New York minute. Yeah. No. No, for a New York the, minute. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what about the... Uh, but what about the... Uh, the fact you think both of them every day are going, how the fuck did we get into this goddamn televised bullshit? How, how did they get Well, it? he wanted to televise, but you must think, like, how did the, how did the fall apart? Like, but the, he the, must the, be, like, thinking, what did I do? What did I want to televise? Hundred, well, it, because he wants all the information. He didn't want them cherry picking quotes and stuff. I know, but this but is now it's crazy. become it's become a five I know, week. Like, I know it's crazy thing. Like it's just the thing that you talk about yeah. when you run out of stuff to talk about with anyone. You go uh, that Johnny Depp thing. Huh? But I'll oh, bet you this, thing, yeah. he'll work again after this. He was done I think so for a too. while. Yeah, but I think this will help him work because even though they're both guilty, I think it shows how nuts she is too. Yeah. So it's like I think people can hire him again after this. There's love for Johnny Depp coming. A lot of it. A lot of it. Yeah, so I think he'll work again. I hope he's Jack Sparrow again. You know? I hope she works again. Yeah, I don't people care if she doesn't. People are not really on her side. Why? Really she like needs the her. money more than him. Yeah, but people also feel like she wrote this article and then he couldn't work, but she was just as shitty and she was able to keep working. Oh, because she was saying he used to beat her? Yeah, and it's like you were shitty too and you know you were shitty. I, I think that's probably what it is. Why? Because she happened to uh, have a few... Side side pieces. Yeah, I mean, look. yeah, that's the other thing. She's over here cheating on him with Jim Franco, <laughs> Jim Franco, yeah. Jim Franco, yeah, Doug Bell. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah Doug Bell, James Franco, Elon Musk. It's yeah. terrible. No, I, I met Elon. Terrible. It sounds like a great lineup for her. Yeah. And for her, but imagine you're Johnny Depp. Imagine you're like, John so Depp. What? Elon Musk. He's rich. Elon it was Musk. after they broke up, but not just barely. Just barely. Gee, what are you guys from 1953? What are you? You no, no. cheating bastards. But just barely broke up. What is this? I, I, I would never commit but I don't blame infidelity. Him for, I'm not saying I wouldn't still fuck her, but I, I don't blame him for being mad. Like, if I was him, I'd be pissed off if she was fucking other people. You were in the shirt with the hole in it again. Yeah, I am. <laughs> don't wear that shirt. Why? Why? Yeah. They're all washed. Buy a new one. No, so that's how I lose weight. Fatty, oh. Fat Pig Norton is going to stay in these shirts till I lose enough weight for a light blue one. It's his self-image is dangerous. I'm, I'm accurate. Fat slob fucking blubber sides Jimmy is going to stay in these you're shirts. You're inaccurate in thinking that you're going to look good in some light blue horrible that's shirt. A, that's, a, <laughs> that's a good point. I probably I probably shouldn't have acted like the, the model in me will come out when I lose a few pounds. <laughs> you Just know what? the fact that you say light blue means you don't even understand. Like You know what I mean? Like You're not some fashion plate. You are. Somebody get the bus boy. <laughs> but but also you have to speak like what's the name like in uh, Devil Wears Prada yeah. that's Aquiline Blue <laughs> three years ago it was Givenchy uh, that we had it in Milan <laughs> I didn't see that movie the movie's great is it yeah yeah well a friend, of, a friend of mine met all, a friend of mine had a little part Gird your loins. Uh, uh, my, 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 my buddy Doug. Bell? Had, yeah, he, he, he told course, the story about think it was? Emily Blunt and uh, and who are the other two? Emily uh, Blunt was so fucking great in that movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah Doug had a scene. It's a great movie. I and Devil Wears so. Prada? Yeah, yeah. He With played Meryl like, Streep? A guy in the office. <laughs> I saw that movie. I didn't see Doug. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't either. But he kept showboating and they had to ask him to be quiet. Yeah, he was, oh, he's, oh, he's, he's trying, trying to, to make the in. scene about himself? Yeah, you're ringing a bell. Oh, come on. Doug. <laughs> Merle shoots like, excuse me, what's that noise? I'm trying yeah. to work on my character. Merle. Yeah. Or no Merle, you got TV? <laughs> got TV, Merle? Yeah, no, I never saw it. Who else did it? Emily Blunt, Merle Street, and uh, Annie, Annie Hathaway. Annie Hathaway, yep, that's right. That's what they call her in the industry, Annie Hathaway. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you know. If you know. That's what Roland would call her. Yeah. <laughs> you know, because he's on the inside. 
Well, you know, it, yeah. You know, it's not healthy. You know what? There's what? Uh, well, we'll see. Actually, maybe it'll be very healthy. Wow. Ric Flair's coming back and doing another oh. match. 73. 73 years young. Ric Flair has been training. And at the end of July, he's going to have one more wrestling match. Who's it going to be? Uh, I know who. Who? The Baron Cicluna. <laughs> From the island of Sicily, there was a Baron who wrestled. There was a lot of very wealthy people that wrestled in those days. Yes. Baron Cicluna, mm-hmm. Ted DiBiase, of course. You the million-dollar man. Yeah. yeah. There was a lot of very exclusive people. But well, yeah. Baron, he was a Baron in Sicily. Right. He used to wrestle. I don't think that he's uh, uh, getting booked for this one. No. Um, but I think they're saying it's going to be like a uh, six-man tag. Oh. Yeah. Old school guys? Uh, he, well, I think they were trying to get Ricky the Dragon Steamboat oh, to come yeah. out of retirement, but he wouldn't do it. Um, I don't think he's in... Like, he's not in poor health in the sense that he can't walk around, right. but he's not in ring shape. I think he had right. like an aneurysm or something not too not long right. ago. Oh. Um, but I think they got the Rock and Roll Express coming out. Did I read that right? I don't know. Or it might be in this article. My computer kind of... just. Yeah, I know. Oh, okay. I have a great name for a new wrestler. What? A guy who's like really colorful. Oh. Hmm. Dan Blake. <laughs> well, that's what I think it's going to be. I think it's going to be Ric Flair and a tag team called FTR versus the Rock and Roll Express and Dan Blake, if I read correctly. Yeah. That's what the rumor is. That <laughs> yeah. Dan Blake is going to team with the Rock and yeah, Roll Express. Yeah, you think I was always going to get a beating back in those days. So his name would be like Dan Blake. And his opponent. Yeah. Dan Blake. Yeah. <laughs> Dan the Man Blake. Oh, that's even worse. It's worse with the nickname. Dan the Man Blake. Dan the Man I used to like Blake. D- Dick the Bulldog Browie. Ever see him wrestle? I don't think so. I thought you were going to say Dick the Bruiser. Oh, no. Bruiser Brody? Bruiser Brody's. I mean, all-timer. Love Bruiser Brody. Yeah. God rest his soul. Yeah. Fucked him up in Puerto Rico. Oh, they did? They murdered him. Oh, no. What happened? Well, I mean, he got into an argument with the promoter over money. Oh. Walked into a shower. Stab wounds. Oh, no. Really? When was this? This was probably early 80s. No. Oh, that, oh, that's that long mm-hmm. ago. Early stab wounds. Nobody saw anything. Nobody said anything. Hospital took a long time. Lots of traffic. Oh. Led to death. He should have called up the mob connection in wrestling. Gino Brino and Dino Bravo. <laughs> That's right. Dino Bravo, God rest his soul. Oh, he died too? Well, he was a, it was a gangland style shooting that, oh, no. <laughs> that ended was it? poor Dino's life. Yeah. Yeah, he had left Did the wrestling. money? Well, he left the wrestling business and had found business elsewhere uh, in uh, Canada, in Montreal. And yes, there was a, uh, a, a gangland style shooting in his home. That left him deceased. Oh, no. Yes. Did they know he was an ex wrestler? The Canadian strongman Dino Bravo? They absolutely oh, did. Oh, yeah, of course. They yes. were famous. Yes, very famous, especially in Montreal. You represented, you had the mm. thing, the floor de lis on his yeah, Canada, trunks. Yeah. <laughs> Canada has a big wrestling culture. Yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, Calgary, Alberta, the hearts. A lot of Hell's Angels. Yeah. In Montreal? Yep. Yeah, that's probably, maybe that's who he was. I don't know. I don't know who he was associated with. He was in the, lots of cigarette. Selling and stuff like that, you know? Yeah, it's over yeah. the border. Yeah. They got that little border with the cigarettes, you know. You know what they call them in England? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Watch it, Jim. I didn't know. It's still a little early to get that edgy. That sounds like a duck bell. It yeah. does. Middle of the act. Yeah, they would, that's so funny. They would say, they go, wait, I go, what kind of cigarette is it? I do the hands like that, you know? Uh, yeah. No, I do know. So I know. Funny. Yeah. Squinny, squinny. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You and Carl go back a while, huh? Yeah, yeah. It's so cool. Yeah. He ever put you in any of those one man shows? No, but I was going to do Tough Crowd, but there was like some guy smashed messed up. In communication? Yeah, it would have been so funny. I would have given him a hard time. Kyle? Yeah. I mean, there was a lot of ribbing on that show. Yeah, I would have been like, this is just a tough chair to sit in. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> You missed out, dude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tough chair. <laughs> we would have done a segment with Doug Bell if, if he, in those days, actually, if the show yeah. was on. If Doug had existed at that if, time. If Doug had existed. <laughs> if he had existed, yeah. yeah. I watched some of that Carlin documentary. It's great. I, you know, Judge, yeah, yeah. I saw, I saw the, I got the uh, on Cullen's like four hours. It was very good, yeah. Yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing it. I haven't seen it yet. Yeah, it's the the footage and the family stuff and Kelly and there's so much amazing footage that you never saw before. Really great. Well, you know it's really great. What? It's a little show that's on tour right now called The Last Best Hope. Yeah, you should change the name. I should. What are you th- I'm what are thinking you th- about that, Doug. I'm not even kidding. Yeah. What are you thinking? 
uh, uh, just call it like hopeful. What? Oh, <laughs> that's a. Yeah. A little that's more positive, he, I guess. I guess that's what he learned in the unit when he was uh, after the unfortunate incident. Oh, we don't really like to talk about that. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I was out in front. Of, I want to talk. I was in front of the cellar. I was crying, just cutting <laughs> myself. Cutting <laughs> yourself. <laughs> crying. He cut himself in front of the cellar. <laughs> yeah, <it was> just... <laughs> that's so bad. No, you know what happened? He cut himself in front of the cellar. He's like, I never got in here at the cellar. And like, sir. This is the underground. Right. <laughs> yeah. He was at that other. He didn't know. He was accidentally at the other club the down the block on McDougal Street. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that other comedy we have a basement. Uh, Are you, sure you want to change the name? Last best hope. Yeah. Why? Why don't you like it? I don't know. Okay. I just have, you know, it's not exactly a show. I'm just annoyed because everybody always says, "Oh, so you doing your show or stand up?" And I'm like, "It's." My show is stand up. <laughs> it just makes me so mad. Yeah, it's people, my own fault. People don't get it after all this time. It's my own fault. <laughs> How about the last hope? I swear to God, <laughs> he really is dumb. Instead of the last best hope, the last best hope is is the quote <laughs> Abraham Lincoln said about the United States. Stupid. I, I didn't know that. I know you didn't. You many more moron. <laughs> <laughs> You can see the last best hope. <laughs> but uh, then again, the last hope is something that somebody else said. Shut up. <laughs> it's on tour now, uh, May 31st through Four June score. 2nd. <laughs> Comedy Works downtown in Denver, Salt Lake City, New York, New Hampshire, Maine, all over the place. Wait, you knew I didn't know that was a Lincoln quote? <laughs> You're right. I didn't know until that moment. When you said, how about the last hope? <laughs> I had no idea. Go to ColinQuinn.com for uh, tickets and all the information on where the Last Best Hope Tour is going. It's always great, man. I resent being called a mini mall idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you just hit the nail on the head. Yeah. <laughs> oh, if you missed any today's show, go on that app. Get it on demand. Search Jim and Sam, and we'll see you all tomorrow. <laughs> yes. There is more Jim and Sam after this. More Jim and Sam after this.